We're in the clubhouse once more. I'm David Eason. Hello. Uh, we're looking at European football this week uh, to try and somehow work out what's going to go on in these two. Uh, we've got oh, these, well... Eight games this week. Gavin Hamilton and John Driscoll with us once again. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, Gavin, start with you first. Um, we enjoyed the first legs, which means that we have no idea how these second legs are going to pan out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, this, I mean, the, the knockout stages has gone a bit bonkers, hasn't it? Compared to, the, I mean, we, 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 you know, we said we wouldn't talk about the away goal rule and the, the, the abolition of it, but it has opened up a whole new world of possibilities with these games. I mean, they were they were far more open than people expected. Every virtually every team decided to go for it, uh, and, and we got a lot of goals as a result. A lot of excitement, and it means that these games are now very hard to predict because they could go either way, depending on the you know how, how these how these teams shape up. And remember, a lot of them are in in the middle of uh, you know tight tight league races as well, um, and um, uh, particularly in England. And um, yeah, it could go could go anyway at the moment, but it's all it's exciting stuff. John, no idea how you watch these games uh, with laptop, TV. I imagine it's a multi-screen event at your house. It's uh, that down in the basement like Elvis. No. <laughs> so I, I have an assistant who I watch uh, TV games with. Um, yeah, bred, bred in myself. Uh, and so what we do, we have we've got I've got a big telly and I've got a laptop, and so I, I put um, the game of the night on the big telly. And then I have the laptop um, on a little stand in front of me, and I watch I watch that as well. I'm and or, I might. Which was game of the night? Uh, the, so, the... for example, uh, Real Madrid Man City was was a big telly game, and PSG Barca was a big telly yeah, game. Yeah, I can see how that works. Um, well, let's get the, obviously swap round this time in terms of Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So we'll start with the Tuesday games, which is that Barcelona PSG game. Barca three to up. Um, John, start with you on this one. Did, do Barcelona know quite how they got 3-2 in that, in that game? Does anyone understand how that game ended 3-2? <laughs> uh, they're 2.24 to win the the game. Uh, 3.9 the draw, 2.96 for PSG. All of those tempters, because this could again go either way, but because it's not exactly, it's not Barcelona at home, is it? It's, again, it's, it's the, we've spoken about it all season. It's a different stadium, but do they feel more at home there now? I don't. I don't know. They're, they're a funny team, aren't they? They've gone. They've gone back into another phase because if you think the team that won the league last season were strangely defensively efficient, to Stegen was magnificent. They kept a lot of clean sheets, won a lot of games, one nil. That wasn't the story for most of this season. Certainly, when they when we were discussing Xavi leaving after the the five three via Real defeat. It was there was no prospect of them looking like that, but they've gone back into in La Liga into this defensive phase. Uh, to Stegen's fifty three minutes away from breaking his own record that he set just last year for consecutive minutes without conceding a goal, so they might do that in the Clasico at the weekend. But then this game came up against PSG, which you know, as you were saying at the top, was the same as all of the other Champions League games, and it was far more open than we thought. I thought Barca were really, really good, probably except. Uh, in that early in, in phase, early in the second half, when they sort of let it get away from them, um, but then they did really well to, you know, to come back into it. Thought Rafinha was excellent. I uh, didn't think it was unjust when Christensen came on and, and headed that goal uh, to to win the tie on the night. But nor do I think that the game um, is over. Um, they played Cadiz at the weekend. They won by a goal to nil. Um, the good news was Lewandowski was already suspended, so that took away any temptation to play him. Gundogan was rested. Pedri didn't start. Um, Frankie de Jong didn't play any minutes at all. Um, so I think there were nine of the 11 changed. So I think we'll go back. I think we'll see them go back to something very similar to the first game. Um, suspensions aside, I think uh, Sergio Roberto is suspended. <sighs> Um, I don't. So there we are. Yet, yet another one. That's why the, the price is attempting, because it's a hard one to call. We don't even know. I don't think Barca have the level of control that all of those one nil wins suggest. I think those one nil wins come about because they're inefficient in front of goal and they defend reasonably well when they're doing emergency defending. I don't think they're playing for one nils. So if that's any help. I think it should be high scoring again because of the quality of, of, of PSG. Yeah, PSG had the weekend off. I think the French authorities let all the French teams in Europe off this weekend. Um, I know Lille didn't play. Um, 
and they're playing Aston Villa on Thursday. Uh, Real Madrid at the weekend as well, just just to make it a big week for Barcelona again. Uh, Gavin, for PSG, they, they go there yeah. knowing that they can score goals against this side, but also can see. They do. They do. And, and, and you know, I mean, Barca did very well in, in sort of um, shackling Mbappe, really. I mean, everyone, you know, everyone sees Mbappe as a threat and he is the guy who's, you know, who's, who's saved PSG on so many occasions and got them out of trouble um, with his goals. And um, he, he was, yeah, they did very well. I mean, Kunde, you know, the, the playing at right back did, did very well. Um, I mean, Barca got this, this young centre back. Um, Kubasi, who, who, who you know, only seventeen, um, and and did very well. The two, you know, he, he sort of, they sort of doubled up on Mbappe and and, and sort of nullified him. But they got goals elsewhere, uh, and that was that was the case. Um, and and they were right. Yeah, it was more of a team performance than than we've come to expect from PSG, and rather than the one man show or the, you know, the, the previously the Messi and Neymar show. So, um, you know, that's often been the problem in the past that they've relied on these on the superstars, and and it was more of a, a, a controlled performance. Um, I mean, there's there's so many youngsters in, involved at the moment. I mean, it's uh, it's it's not just at uh, at Barca, but at PSG, you know, I've got sort of teenagers, and and it's. I mean, I, I know I'm getting older, and policemen and teachers are all getting younger and everything else but <laughs> but um there, there seems to be you know so many young teenagers playing such important roles in games um now um a, a, across the board um I, you know i'm just thinking at mine it may new at uh, united and 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 so many others um and and this is a case in point i think that um yeah, you mentioned christensen suspended i think it's is sergio roberto suspended as well which which sort of Worries me a bit for Barca in that they've, you know, they, they're going to be a little bit light on the experience they need to get get through this because they need a controlled performance. Um, you know, and I'm slightly worried about the inexperience in the te- in the team because you know they they rely on Pedri to come in and produce a, you know, a, a sort of match winning pass, um, a brilliant pass for that goal, wasn't there? That in the, in 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 the first leg. So um, you worry about the the youngsters and the, the inexperience in the team for Barca, and um, without the likes of Christensen to come on and 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 sort of settle things down. Um, so I think it's very hard to call Lewandowski. I think his experience could play an important, such an important role. He he's shown you know in the previous leg against Napoli that he can snaffle up those chances still. So I'm I'd go for goals. Um, I, I don't think there's any other way you can 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 go about it really. I think it's it's gonna be really tight. Um goals in, in these sort of things going into extra time as well. I think that's another option to look at. Mm. Um so yeah there's there's um there's definitely and the, yeah, uh, there's the to qualify mark PSG at three point nine five and the to qualify uh, one point two seven for Barcelona. John do you just quickly think that that you know again the price play it could be anything. Why not PSG at nearly four? Yeah, that's, I, I thought the same actually, Dave. If I'm honest, because we, you know, you know, we we can talk around it, we can come up with various ideas of how the game goes. But um, so the two point nine six for PSG to win the game, if they dominate the game um, and run away with it, so, you know, win two nil, playing really well, then that gives you that three point nine five qualification, doesn't it? So I, I think that's it's not a bad price, really, given that we, you know, we we literally can't call the game, and it's 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 not a toss up. But um, looking. This way, in time to call. So yeah, yep. yeah. Why not? Why not pick the longest price? It's <laughs> fair point. Fair point to Dortmund, Atletico Madrid. Uh, Atleti with a two-one lead from the first leg. Two point two two for Dortmund to win at home. Three point six five the draw. Atletico Madrid three point one five. Uh, Gavin, looking at Dortmund coming into this, that they feel in the they, they missed they missed their opportunities in the first game, but they're, they're still in this one definitely. They are and Atletico. I mean, they, they should have really killed it off in that in, in that mm. first leg. Really, I mean, they let Dortmund back into the game. Um, and we talked before about how Dortmund have lots of attacking options, and they, and they showed that with Allaire coming off the bench. Um, yeah, he's had a, a yeah uh, some injury concerns, and he's back now. But um, uh, Brandt as well. Um, they, they they came off the bench um, and, and and brought Dortmund back into the game, and and. Um, uh, that's that's frustrating for Atletico because I think they could have been out of sight by the by the return leg, but it, it's nicely set up now. Um, and I think I mean Dortmund have these attacking options. They also have quite a few mistakes in them. I mean uh, Hummels made mistakes for the for the uh, the Atletico goals, and and um, usually you know he's so reliable. So um, they 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 are uh, susceptible at the back, but they're also capable of scoring with the options they've got um, at the weekend. Um, 
Allaire um, was was back in, um, and and they've got other options. This this English kid, uh, Bino Gittens, is is interesting. I think he could come in and and, and do something. So um, they've got some, uh, and 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 uh, they they've got other options. So it'd be worth looking at who 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 comes back in, who's been rested over the weekend. Um, I, I, I'm I'm erring with Atleti. I think they've still got enough. Um, to, you know, to take this, um, it's up to Dortmund to, to obviously, um, you know, who are a force at home in the Champions League. I mean, the, the yellow wall and everything else we've talked about lots before. But I think I think Atleti have got enough in them now uh, to, to to take this. And the draw at three six uh, three point six five is looks looks very good. I think really because um, that will obviously be enough to take them through. Um, so I'd, I'd I'd go for a score draw because I think they were, they, Dortmund have got mistakes in them, but they have got those uh, they, those attacking options, particularly with Alaire back. Yeah, we mentioned, John, about um, Atleti's home form. Their away form is not great, uh, but they do just need a draw. And and that might be... Is it, is it him going back and thinking, do you know, I could dog this one out like the old days. But uh-huh. maybe, maybe not this side, can I? Yeah, unless you can get uh, Miranda and Godin back in the team, then I'm not sure that uh, they've got the capabilities of doing it. Uh, I, I'm going to, I think, disagree with Gavin. I, I'm going, I, th- I think Dortmund have got a good chance of winning this. 2.22 uh, is not too bad. The, 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 the asterisk against that is that they have a lot of injuries. Uh, Alain went off 10 minutes into the game the other day. Uh, uh, Terzic said he's probably OK. It was just a bad tackle. Sancho was unwell, should be fine. But I know Gittins went uh, at a back cramp. So that doesn't sound particularly good, does it, for a, a young man to have his, you know, his back cramping up. So they're, they're downsides against Dortmund, but Atleti away from home are so vulnerable. And we saw in that game, basically, as Gavin said, Atleti could have blown them away. The opportunity was there. They didn't take it. And then when Dortmund basically were 2 nil down and had to be more offensive, um, they found that Atleti were there for the taking and are vulnerable. And they hit the bar with the, literally the last bit of action of the game. They did the woodwork earlier as well. <laughs> I think Dortmund having to go for the, having to go for it is the worst thing for Atleti because I don't think Atleti I, I just don't think they're capable of defending like they used to. I don't think they've got the personnel, uh, and so I sort of obviously there's a case for Atleti doing it, but I, I, I'm I'm going with Dortmund to to win it inside the in, inside the ninety. So that two point two two is not bad. Okay, either way, an interesting game. Uh, a couple of games on Tuesday, uh, which are still very much in the balance. Dortmund against Atletico Madrid and, of course, Barcelona versus Paris Saint-Germain. Every game of the English Premier League, Champions League and Europa League, live as they happen. For the best live bets, this is Clubhouse TV with sportsbet.io. Please gamble responsibly. Oh, roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up. It is Champions League night. It is the second leg of the quarterfinals. And we've got, well, we'll find out in the next uh, couple of hours whether Borussia Dortmund or Atleti Madrid progress in Germany or whether Barcelona or PSG progress in Spain. It is me, James Holla, everybody. And it is him, the lovely, delectable Simon Barlow. Hello, everybody. Looking forward to the games tonight. Uh, last night's Chelsea win was uh, interesting, wasn't it? But I don't think we're going to get anything as one-sided a, as that. It was a good game last night, actually. I was, I was kind of like, I had a rare night off Clubhouse TV, and I thought, shall I watch the football? Shall I watch something completely? Oh, I'll watch the football. Um, and it was good. It was good. Um, and Cole Palmer, who was in my fantasy team, but wasn't my captain, 
Um, well, fantastic. He's uh, making a massive play for a, not just a, a, cha- a, a place in Gareth Southgate's squad for the Euros, but a starting berth because yeah. playing as well as anybody. Um, joint top scorer in the Premier League now alongside Erling Haaland. So uh, nobody would... I, I don't know what the prices were for that market at the start of the season, whether Cold Palmer was even mentioned in them. No. But, uh, yeah, you would got a good price. Anyway, hello, everybody. Champions League night. Um, very good to have you here. Jen's in the uh, studio. She's in the production suite. Um, she is uh, pressing the gifts and uh, doing all of the uh, hard work tonight. We basically are just going to put our feet up and watch the football and talk gubbins about the football as we go through. Um, but which one should we start with? Sorry, which match should we start with? Up to you. With? I mean, I think... Um Perhaps the sexier match is Barcelona versus Paris Saint-Germain, but, you know, I think they're both equally valid. Well, I mean, you've, you've seduced me. Let's go with the sexy. Um, 2.16 for Barcelona, for the tie, PSG is three. Oh, and that means I can get my stat out, James. Oh, which it's a is... Ve- this is a very good stat. This yeah. deserves a big build-up. Simon's <clears throat> stat of the day. The last 25 teams to have won the first leg of a European Champions League knockout tie away from home have gone through. So Barcelona... Have that advantage, don't they? They won in Paris. Uh, they're now at home, albeit it's their temporary home of the Olympic Stadium and not the camp now, but uh, still, it's home. And the last 25 teams who have done what they've done have gone through. So, big advantage for uh, Xavi Sai. They're 2.16, as you say, 4.00 for the tie. 3.00 for PSG. And you know what? I need to, I need to just finish the feature. That was Simon's stat of the day. <laughs> Thank you. You know what? You, you can't really sort of go against that stat in a way no um, well I was saying to you the, if you can win away from home and you take him back to your fortress um, you should be able to get the job done shouldn't you yeah I think obviously modern modern Champions League format is that especially in the quarter final stages onwards you're playing each other a week after so it's not like perhaps in the like the olden days when the Champions League was the European Cup or whatever and teams literally maybe had like three weeks between first leg and second leg mm. Um, a lot can change in that time. What changes in? Well, it's six days. It's not even a week. It's six days since these two teams last played each other. So what what changes? You know, I mean, I'll, the game went one way and then that way, but it, it finished very much with Barcelona being, you know, on top. What in, six days later? Why why should Barcelona not be on top again? I don't no. know. It's, it, I figure the best that PSG can do is get a draw. But that's not going to be that's good not going to be through. That, that no. season waving goodbye into the Champions no. League for another season. So, so the, my, my, my play would be here, Barcelona to qualify. It's 1.26, but they're going to qualify. Oh, you big spender. All right, put 3,000 <laughs> groats on it then. <laughs> I, I don't possess 3,000 groats. You know. <laughs> I'm just a poor, humble creature. But it's the, it's the last 25 teams to have been in their position have done it. And 1.26 is like... Um, Three teams out of four would go through at 1.26. That's that's basically the, the yeah. equivalent of it. So what I'm saying is 25 out of 25 have gone through, and the bookies are saying, and you know the odds are saying here it's three out of four. Barcelona three out of four times Barcelona would go through tonight, but actually teams that have been in their position have gone through 25 times out of 25. Yeah, um, so 100% record over the last 25 anyway. Mm. Um, so Atleti, uh, well, Atleti away. Uh, before we go to the next game, actually, let's say hello to a few people. And um, Viv's in touch, um, shared a gift of me. And that, no, actually, I think that's Jen um, showing a gift of me in my pyjamas, waving. I'm um, saying hello. Um, but there's Professor Brian Cox alongside me and in um, pictorial form. And me looking rather grumpy in a grey sort of sweatshirt and, uh, and fez. Um, there on the on the floor, sitting cross-legged. Jen, the, the GIFs addict, hello to Viv tonight. Good to have you here, Viv. And uh, Jen's shared a picture of, uh, is that Mrs. Doubtfire? I think that might be Mrs. Doubtfire with cream on her face, saying hello. Um, Dark <laughs> Dewell says hello, guys. Flocky, hello, hello, hello to you. Um, His Royal Majesty Marquis Maharaja Kaisa sees us our supreme eye telegram visit lock here for Jebs of Rex. I hope it will be a Champions League night with lots of goals. Uh, sorry, uh, genetics, hello. I hope it will. Uh, Dark Dewell, hello. And uh, Sasai, the Grand Wizard of Mon, the Quizmaster Guru. Always good to have you here. Genetics. And yay, Jen. Woo hoo. Yeah. Um, says the minions. Um, how is everyone? Jen's asking you how you are. Tell her on the Clubhouse Telegram chat. Tell us what you're up to today. Tell us where your money is on these Champions League games. And also, don't forget as well, there are other matches around the... Uh, well, England, certainly. have um, got League One action in um, seven games. We've got League Two action with another five. And um, we've obviously got the two Champions League matches. And then the small matter of Southampton against Preston. Sportbet.io Southampton at home to Preston. Eight o'clock kickoff 
in the championship and plenty of other football elsewhere as well. So if there's anything else you'd like us to talk about, we are more than happy to and try and steer you in the right direction. Anyway, back to the Champions League. We've talked a little bit about Barcelona and PSG. Mm. And Borussia Dortmund, 2.2, 3.6 the tie, 3.2 for Atleti side. Yeah, again, you know, it's, again, six days since these two sides met. There's, again, only minimal changes, really, to, to either team. There's not a great deal of difference. Um, the change for uh, Borussia Dortmund is that Brandt comes into midfield for Nemitscha. Uh, Full Krug, again, starts up front. Still no Sebastian Allaire. And Jaden Sancho, well, he didn't play in the Bundesliga in uh, the weekend, but he, uh, he did play last week, and he starts again on the left-hand side, Adeyemi on the right. It's a good Dortmund team. Um, and, you know, they they uh, they competed well away at Atletico Madrid. I think Madrid are just more experienced, more streetwise, and are just a little bit better. And that's why they lead 2-1 in aggregate. And I think that's why they'll go through. That They've probably improved their team with the return of Emoso to the back three. Um, they were strong enough to win last week in, in Spain. I just think that they're, they're just a sound team. Um, so I'm going with... Uh, Atletico Madrid to qualify from this one. Okay. Um, if you doubled them up and you went for the um, the short price that you mentioned on the first match and Atleti, how much is that in the, on a double? I'll let you work that out as okay. I uh, say hello to Jeremy Power. Hello, Jeremy. Um, he's going for Barcelona to win 2-1 tonight and um, draw one apiece. Um, is that in the other game or is that uh, you've got two choices in the Barca game? Have you? I mean, I, d- I don't mind the draw at all in that game. Um, I think, like I say, I think Barcelona will, will qualify. That That's my, you know, short price pick. Uh, and by the way, the double of the two teams who are um, the two teams who are already leading on aggregate to qualify is one point eight five. That's yeah, I'm happy with that. And the one point two four a Spanish to qualify double yeah. of uh, Barcelona and Atletico Madrid one point eight five. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I think I think that Barcelona could qualify with a draw, uh, not necessarily winning the game tonight. I'd expect PSG to come out fast. You know, I think they they need to make a statement, try and score early, and I think they will really try and press. And be quite sort of proactive on the front foot early on. Mm. Um, maybe they do take the lead, and then maybe there's a way of backing at bigger odds PSG to lead but not win tonight. A couple of ways, I would I would say there's a one x two and first team to score market where you could perhaps play PSG to score first and draw. That is seven point nine, or maybe have a look at this one: lead at half time and not win. PSG to lead at half time and not win is eight point seven five. Barcelona to lead at halftime and not win is 9.5. Yeah. I mean, Barcelona go through as long as they draw the game. So, you know, they're not going to be that bothered about winning. Well, I mean, they'd obviously like to win, but if it's if it's a draw with 10 minutes to go, Barcelona are fine with that. Mm. Of course, Barcelona not playing their home matches at home at the moment as the uh, new Camp gets uh, mm. upgraded. But there's something quite nice about that stadium they play in now. It's all open open to the elements, isn't it? And uh, yeah. so used to seeing these uh, new stadia with the kind of the roofs on and the pretty lights and everything on top. That's um, yeah, kind of a bit of a, a hark back. It's quite, I think it's quite nice. I've been, I've been to that ground. Yeah. And it rained. <laughs> so being open <laughs> to the elements wasn't an advantage that, yeah. on that day. Um, Dark Devil, hello to you. He's got a, is that you, Dark Devil, shouting in the desert? Um, he says, hello. Um, Dortmund, Jaden Sancho, PSG, Dembele. He's looking for those two as goal scorers um, today. Uh, ex- uh, teammates, possibly, were they teammates? at uh, Borussia Dortmund I think hmm. certainly uh, around about the same time they, they would have been there um, I think probably PlayStation buddies to be honest those two um, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean frustrating wingers both of them aren't they they've had um, similar sort of career trajectories where they've got the big move it's not quite worked out they've had to go back to try and rebuild their careers I know Dembele's still at a very very big club but Barcelona was his big move and it it didn't quite work out for him there. He's now playing against Barcelona tonight. Uh, maybe he's got a point to prove, although he should have had a point to prove in the first game. And he what, apparently wasn't that good. I know could he be, scored. Could be a mug bet tonight, though, couldn't it? Yeah. That old boy returns Absolutely, to yeah. haunt his former side. Yeah. Um, Dark Devil's fine, he says. And uh, um, we've also got um, Dark Devil saying, I hope it will be both an intense and entertaining broadcast. Um, I'm glad you're feeling great, um, so he says to Jen. Uh, well, I will, hopefully it will be a, an intense and uh, and entertaining broadcast, but I feel under pressure now to be intense and entertaining. Yeah. Oh, I've never been either. And did what happened to the um, the kebab talk after we went off last night? Because that, that's how we left it. Everybody was talking about the favourite kebabs. Oh, chilli sauce. Got to have chilli sauce in your kebab. Mm. 
Yeah. Um, anyway, um, Jeremy Powell says, hey, guys, Entei's with us, Dan's with us. Good to have you all here. Clubhouse TV with sportsbet.io. Fun, fast, ferociously fair. Champions League. Oh, the oh. champions um, tonight. And uh, we have got a free bet available across these uh, two games. I'm going to let you decide, Si, because we haven't discussed this. We've just I'm winging it tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to have, well, 10 times 10 USDT up for grabs. Are we going to do spot bets as we go through both of these games or shall we do something across the two in its entirety oh, um, spot bets you want to you yeah. fancy some spot betting yeah. okay um, so right should we decide now what the first thing's going to be because usually get carried away with kickoff and about five minutes in I go oh we haven't got a spot bet yet so should we decide now so we're up and running right at the start uh, Killian Mbappe shot doesn't have to be on target, just a Kylian Mbappe shot. Kylian Mbappe, you heard it here. Heard it here from Simon's mouth. Um, if Kylian Mbappe has a shot, the first of tonight's spot bets, it doth land. Um, it's a big night just going into that um, other game, Southampton. Um, big night for, well, Leeds United blew their lines, didn't they, at the weekend. But Southampton are still just about in contention for an automatic uh, promotion spot. Um, ahead of kickoff in that game against Preston, um, Southampton sit in fourth place. They are six points behind Leeds. Um, with two games in hand so they could get actually level on points they've got a weaker goal difference than Leeds United um, Preston currently sitting 10th place uh, and they are 8 points off the playoff places so their chances probably well certainly if they lose tonight um, that is any chance uh, of promotion for them disappearing but uh, pressure on Southampton who haven't been in great form um, just recently Southampton so we'll see how they get on tonight but uh, Southampton have uh, one two drawn to and lost one of their last five matches in the uh, championship. So a little bit of pressure on them. Probably, in all honesty, their last chance. If they lose tonight, um, that's probably their chances of automatic promotion. Um, up the Swanee, they've got to, they're pretty much guaranteed a playoff spot. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, they uh, still will be ho- hoping for a chance to go up automatically. We're not too far away then from kickoff in these two games in the Champions League. How are you betting? Tell us what you're up to. Borussia Dortmund taking on Atleti Madrid. 2.2 for Dortmund, 3.2 for Atleti. Barcelona taking on PSG. 2.16 for Barca, 3 for PSG. Who makes it through to the semi finals? We'll find out soon. Counting down to kickoff, covering every game of the English Premier League, Champions League, and Europa League live. This is Clubhouse TV with Sportsbet.io. Please gamble responsibly. Oh, always gamble responsibly, Clubhouse creatures. You know the rules. That's pretty much the only rule of Clubhouse TV. Two rules, really. Be nice to each other on the chat and always gamble responsibly. Um, that stat sounds good to me, says Jeremy Pound, talking about your stat. Simu, hello to you. Lubo's with us. Cheese with us. Dark Devil says, good luck, guys. Son says hello. And Simon shared his best bets there. So uh, get if you want to um, go with Simon, click on that link. It'll stick it into your sportsbet.io and betting slip. And away you go. Gamble responsibly. Choose the stake that suits you. And away you go. Anyway, you're about to get underway. Griezmann's uh, currently got the big, long, fluffy hair, hasn't he? <sighs> yeah. And he's uh, he's got a good goal-scoring record in the Champions League of late. I think he scored in five of his last seven Champions League games. So he'd be a, a name to watch out for, I think, as an anytime goal scorer tonight, Mr. Griezmann. Uh, don't have those anytime goal scorer prices on They'll mine. Come in a few yeah. seconds' time. Remember, Mbappe to have a shot gets the first spot. But we're underway in Germany. Dortmund against Atleti has kicked off. They're about to get underway in the other game. In fact, uh, they are just kicking the first ball there. Um, so uh, eyes down, looking. Champions League night is up and running, and this is the crucial one. We could be here for a half an hour longer, or even longer than that, if it goes to penalties, because uh, we have got the potential in both of these matches for extra time. And penalties. Just one goal separates uh, both of these two sides with Atleti winning the first leg by two goals to one and uh, Barcelona having a 3-2 advantage in Spain tonight. So uh, only one goal between them could go all the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful that neither game goes to extra time and penalties, James. You but... want your pillow, don't you? You want your bed? Yeah. yeah. I mean, what time did you get up this morning? Um, I was up at... I was awake at six, up oh. about half seven. Okay, that's earlier than I thought. Um, yeah, six six forty generally is what time our alarm goes off because we've got to do the school run for the kid. Um, so you know when it when it gets to like half ten and I'm not even in my bed, it's been a long day. Yeah, I, I yeah I didn't have anything to get up for this morning, but I uh, yeah I uh, I was awake too early really. I was awake before my alarm clock. Probably excited about 
been on been, the show with me. Been with you tonight, yeah. yeah. yeah absolutely. Mm. Uh, first thing I said, I, I kind of, you know, you kind of your eyes open, you kind of think, where, first of all, you think, where am I? Then you realise you're in your own uh, bedroom. And then I kind of thought, Simon, tonight. And I kind of punched the air. <laughs> that was the first thing I did. If there's then, one, then if, went off and made myself a coffee. If there's one of these games going to extra time tonight, it's the Dortmund versus Atletico Madrid game, I think, because Atletico Madrid have got form for it, haven't they? You know, they, they got through on penalties in the previous round against Inter. Um, they scored a very late goal to take it to extra time there through Memphis Depay, and then they, they played throughout an extra half an hour and just played for penalties in the end and won it on penalties. So they know they can do that again, probably. They have a bit of confidence about doing that if, if it needs doing tonight. I know they lead 2-1 in this game, so they perhaps don't have to... They might not have to do that, but um, I think that they're prepared to win whichever way. I mean, I suppose all the teams are prepared to win whichever way, but certainly Atletico Madrid with Diego Simeone, that really just sort of a hard team to shake off. He's... Oh, oh. Of, the, of the, that discussion, managers you'd least like to fight, he would be right up the top of the list. Yeah, yeah. bare ba- knuckle, ba- knuckle fighting with Diego Simeone. I think uh, I'd run the other way. I think he's probably mellowed, you know. I mean, I, I think when he first became a manager, went from being a player to a manager, which was like just like that. He just a chance here for Dortmund. Oh, oh it's a big chance big for Dortmund. Chance. Oh, it's a great tackle. What a stop. Th- that is a fantastic tackle. Es- Sabitzer has got his hands on his head because he thought that ball was in the back of the net side. Cesar Azpilicueta, take a bow. You've just stopped a certain goal. That was superb. That that had basically oh, 90, he's blocked another one. Ninety nine point nine 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 percent of me was thinking I was about to scream goal. Yeah, and that uh, that last ditch challenge was absolutely brilliant. Well, it's, is it Sabitz? He said he was, yeah. he was literally on the penalty spot with the ball at his feet, about to score. A bit and, closer than that, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Aspiliqueta made a good start defensively there, but uh, Dortmund on top. Can they can they do anything from this corner? Um. Atleti usually quite good at defending set pieces. That's a high one, and they head it away. So uh, no goals just yet. Have we had an Mbappe shot just yet? I don't nope. think so. No. Nope. Um, so that is what we need. Uh, if you're just joining us as we go live, um, an Mbappe shot lands the first spot bet. Two of you will have a chance to win 10 USDT apiece. And um, what we have to do, general go, 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 go. Once she's gone, 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 you stick your sportsbet.io usernames into the Telegram chat. We pull out to at random. Here we go. Throw on goal. Chance, chance, chance. Dinks it. Oh, oh he's dinked it wide. Oh, Atleti. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alvaro Morata. He did absolutely all of the hard work there. He shrugged off the defenders. He showed his pace. He was through on goal. He went for the clever little dink and it just misses the post. Mm. Wow. So we've had chances both ends in that. That's been a bright start. So uh, early goals potentially. Simeone kind of, yeah, there he is looking as if he's about to punch somebody. Um, but uh, that, that, was, that was on a plate for Morata. He did everything right apart from the finish. Yeah, I mean, you do worry about Morata in the big games. You know, I think he, he scored a lot of goals this season and he does seem to be having a bit of a career renaissance. But in the big games, has he got the... Could be a chance there for PSG. You now it's uh, played back to... Uh, to Stegen. Hello to Alexi. Hello to Taf98. And hello to Lishi and Noir. Black Dog's with us. Hello to all three of you. Welcome along to uh, this Tuesday night, yeah. Champions League night. And as you've just joined us, I'll tell you again, the first of these spot bets tonight. We need uh, Kylian Mbappe to have a shot. It could be on target. It could be off target for PSG. Yeah, no, I'm just checking. Uh, no shot from Kylian just yet. There's been a shot from Vitinha. Oh, he's Kylian to you, is he? Uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah like, just, like, like that, just, Mbappe and Barlow. Just, I just call him K. Just uh, right, K, K, man. You okay, K? Yeah. <laughs> Shot from Atleti again. It's what does saved. he call you? Stalker. <laughs> Get away from my house. Yeah, yeah. Restraining order. <laughs> um, anyway, Southampton against Preston is underway. Seventh minute there. Same times as uh, as these Champions League games as well. But in League One, um, we got goals already. Shrewsbury ahead against Bolton. They're away from home and one nil up. It's Peterborough one, Fleetwood one. And it is 1-0 to Wickham away at Port Vale. One apiece between Portsmouth and Barnsley. Those League One matches all in around about the 22nd minute. Um, goal for uh, Colchester. They lead Grimsby 1-0. And we've got a goal for Mansfield leading Accrington by 1-0. And Walsall a 1-0 up against Swindon. That's in League Two. I think Mansfield can get promoted tonight, can't they? Yeah, Fleetwood can get relegated if they uh, if they lose their game. And I think Portsmouth, they can, they can get promoted, can't they, if they... Um... They win their game as well tonight. And Wrexham are up, aren't they? Wrexham are up, yeah. yeah. Congratulations to uh, the uh, the Red Dragons mm. and their uh, and celebrity the, uh, ownership. Well, if the, if the, the Ryan Reynolds or uh, 
Um, I can never remember. The thingy, what's his name? The other one? Um, McElvenny. Rob, Rob McElhenney. Mac- yeah. he's, uh, if either of you two want to come on to Clubhouse TV, I promise you I'll remember your name by the time you come in here. More than welcome, any time you like. Come on, yeah. and you can talk about Wrexham. Unlikely to be picked up that offer, I, don't, I think. Maybe. Unlikely. Yeah. Yeah. Corner for PSG. In fact, there's a corner as well for Atletico Madrid. So, uh, yeah, the two away teams uh, setting the stall out. I thought PSG would need to start fast, and they have dominated the opening six minutes. The ball's largely been in, in Barca's half. An early goal would really set the cat among the mm. pigeons for them. Is that an expression that travels across uh, across the sea? That? The Chien Noir would be in there quickly as well. Yeah. Uh, he's, uh, he'd be chasing the cat away and the pigeons. I don't think he's a real dog. No. Uh, anyway, we've got a corner from the far side for PSG. Comes in, headed away at the near post by Barcelona. Got a solid head on that and goes out for a throw in on the far side. In Spanish, it would be El Gato entre las Palomas. Yeah, mm. exactly. The cat is, has entered the pigeons. That is pretty much there, yeah. And then if you're the farmer, you can come along with your esta leader, esta leader, and shoot them both. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bang, bang. Anyway, uh, we <laughs> nil, nil. Um, in both of these games, come on, Killian and Bappy, let's get a shot for you. Get the first of the spot bets in the uh, in the back pocket. He's uh, in attack though. PSG are trying for you to get it to Killian and Bappy. Yeah. The K man, as Simon calls him. Yeah. K- Special K. Where is he? I can see him lurking. He's look. He's pulled very wide at the far post, hoping for the ball to come all the way through to him. Oh no, there he is. Guess he's crossing. But no, no. So anyway, we are. Uh, Goalless as things stand. Don't forget tomorrow. Um, join us again. When I say us, um, I don't mean us. I mean join Clubhouse TV again because uh, we have got Bayern against Arsenal and we've got Man City against Real Madrid tomorrow night. And then on Thursday, it is us again. Um, it is uh, me and Sai with uh, the four quarterfinals in the Europa League and, of course, the Conference League as well. Um, but uh, two of those are early. So don't make the mistake Pete made last week, Sai. Um, when on the Thursday night he came in to join me, and he came in for a 5.30 start, thinking we were covering the early Conference League games. And he was here rather early. Yeah. Because um, we, we won't be on for Fiorentina against Pilsen and uh, Lille against Aston Villa. But we'll, we'll be mentioning um, Fenerbahce, Olympiacos and Parak against Club Brugge. But uh, the main eyes on the four games in the uh, quarterfinals of the Europa League, uh, involving, of course, West Ham and Liverpool. And then you get Friday off. And then uh, you join us again for a weird Saturday, a very strange Saturday. I'm not actually on on Saturday. The only Saturday I think this season I've missed. Um, but uh, got two games at three o'clock, Luton against Brentford, Sheffield United against Burnley. And then you've got to wait all the way through till 7.30 when Wolves take on Arsenal. Slightly more normal Sunday. I'll be back with you for Sunday. Um, Everton against Forest, Aston Villa against Bournemouth, Palace against West Ham and Fulham against Liverpool. So loads of football um, in the foreseeable on Clubhouse TV. So make sure you tune in. Get your timings right, though, on the Saturday because it's a weird old day. Yeah, just looking at the the two games right now, still nil-nil. Neither team, um, well, apart from that great chance that, uh, that Aspilicueta blocked, neither team really looking like scoring. And um, I think the away teams look look very secure, to be honest, uh, at the moment. I, I, don't, I wouldn't be worried about uh, PSG or, well, PSG, obviously, the, the worry for them is they need to score. But they look good uh, from the opening whistle. They've, they've been the better team. And uh, I think Atleti, Atletico Madrid, they look good as well against uh, Borussia Dortmund. So good good starts for the away side. In terms of goals, I, th- I think we're going to get a goal in the first half of both games. Why, why are you still waving? Hans tired. Um, I, was, I was waving at Ramsey th- 22, um, Simu and uh, Shalev Shivgami who are all joined us. I didn't want you to feel like we had, we're ignoring you. Um, but hello, hello, welcome along. Nice to see you, all three of you. I thought my hand was going to drop off there, so you didn't stop talking. Sorry. Yeah. But uh, it, that, was, that was the job. That's what you're here for. Barcelona have been given a bit of a, a runaround at the moment. That was just a stray ball that finishes off that move. But PSG are really uh, squeezed the game into to Barcelona's half, and mm. they're, they're looking more like the home team, to be honest. They are, aren't they? They are. Um, but... Uh, Good skill from Barcola in the penalty area a few moments ago. That's not a PSG kit that I'd recognise PSG for. Oh, they've pressed and they've won the ball back again. And then he was offside. Have you, <laughs> there's a really good interview with um, Trent Alexander-Arnold with Gary Neville. Um, that's came, I think it came out today. It's part of his overlap thing for Sky in, in, in the UK. Goes to talk to him. I'll tell you what, I, I've never really heard Trent Alexander-Arnold speak very much. He's a bright, football-crazed 
Um, yeah, really nice, nice fella. Mm -hmm. Very impressed with him. And uh, talking tactically about how Liverpool play, mm -hmm. very interesting. Because um, he basically says Jurgen doesn't mind. Um, they, they always, if anybody bombs forward, they always um, provide cover behind them. So somebody mm -hmm. drops deep as Trent goes forward and all the rest of it. But he doesn't mind them losing the ball. He doesn't mind them going forward at the first attack and, uh, and, and being a bit uh, flamboyant and trying something special. Because what they do, he likes to, if they're going to lose the ball, lose it high up the pitch and then press hard because they, when, they, when the opposition get the ball, mm. they'll try and bring it back out and, and they'll kind of push forward. Press hard, try and win it in the final third. And whilst they're kind of trying to commit bodies forward, you then hit them harder. Um, so that, that's the tech. That's the t and, and Gary Neville said, um, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be brilliant for Jürgen because I could quite easily happily move it into midfield and lose it. Oh, is that a goal? Oh, we got the first goal of the Barcelona night. Barcelona have scored the first goal of the night. Com it's the star of the first quarter final. Rafina, yeah. former Leeds player, has scored for Barcelona. So despite PSG making a very good start in this match, Barcelona go 1 0 and 4 2 on aggregate. That is exactly what they needed, wasn't it? That's that. There you go. Your stat of twenty-five on the bounce. That look. That's looking solid. Yeah, they'll, they'll go into about one point zero two to qualify now. It's not. It's not done and dusted. This by by any stretch of the imagination. But it's a nice goal. And if PSG are going to concede goals as easy as this, then they're in trouble tonight. It just beats a man on the outside. Yamal gets his cross in. Winger comes in from the other side. Rafinha, and he just he attacks the near post and gets there before the defender. You got good news, Sai. Your stat of the day has made our Twitter feed. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna make you a star, Si. Gonna make you a star. Okay. Or well, Jenny's. I, I mean, I can't. I didn't. I didn't make up the stat myself. I just. I, think, found, I just found it on a. You, you, on a very authoritative website. You spent three hours thoroughly researching that this yeah. afternoon, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, Barcelona ahead in their encounter, and uh, that is a big, important goal for the Spanish giants, and uh, they now 4-2 up on aggregate. And looking pretty healthy, I would suggest, uh, as this match is going to progress. You've got, at the moment, uh, the, obviously the prices have changed. 1.59 for Barcelona to win tonight, 4.6 the tie, 4.9 yeah. for PSG to come back and win. That's obviously a 90-minute market tonight. That's not the overall um, quarter final. Uh, uh, don't forget, as well, the bet free 6 6 We've got round, uh, EPL round 34 Coming up this weekend, you've got three days, 18 hours, 39 minutes and three seconds to get your uh, submissions in. And uh, the games that you need to pick are Luton against Brentford, Wolves against Arsenal, Everton taking on Forest, Fulham against Liverpool, Crystal Palace taking on West Ham and finally Aston Villa against uh, Bournemouth. You make your score predictions and you could win up to 100,000 USDT courtesy of sportsbet.io. It's free to enter, so you might as well have a crack, can you? I think so, yeah. Um, more goals in the first half. More goals overall in mm. the game, but I think more goals in the first half now in the uh, game in, in Barcelona. It's just going to completely open it up. Well, it's been open anyway, hasn't it? It has. Even before that goal, yeah. so uh, no reason to think PSG are going to take the foot off the gas now. They're not going to just wave the white flag, are they? Uh, over 2.5 goals in the first half is 2.75. Don't mind that. I mean, over 1.5 goals is short, but it's, it really should land. Uh, looking at games where PSG have, uh, well, obviously, look at the, yeah, I mean, the first game these two sides played, it was actually 1-0 just before half time. So the first goal went in on 37 minutes, Rafinha again. And then there were four goals after that. So, uh, did Rafinha got two that night, didn't he? He did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Played well. Um, mm. But uh, I was when he was at Leeds, I was always a little bit, um, I, I kind of liked him. Obviously, he had some good games, but it was like one good game every five. He was invisible for the next two. Uh, but uh, since he's gone to Barcelona, I think he, I think he's always seen himself as a top tier player. Um, and although he played his heart out for Leeds when he was there, I, I don't think he ever saw that as being his level. But, yeah, uh, did he play under Bielsa? He did, yes. But then, did he stay under Jesse Marsh? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that was the where things went a little bit downhill for him. I don't know. Well, he was one of the when they went down. He was um, him and Calvin Phillips were shipped out, weren't they? For yeah. half decent money, and uh, um, Rafinha went to Barcelona, and he's kind of gone on from there, and his career's kicked on. Poor old Calvin Phillips went to Man City, and he's hardly well. He has been seen since, but not in in a positive way. So uh, Calvin Phillips has got his career to rebuild. Rafinha flying at the moment. 
Yeah. So uh, Barcelona at four, two up on aggregate, one nil up on the night. And let's go back to the game in Germany site. Borussia Dortmund 2.22, 3.45 the tie, 3.25 for Atleti. And this has been a, a fairly even um, first half so far. Both sides have had their opportunities. Neither side have yet put the ball in the back of the net. But I guess that um, Atleti would be the happier of the two because they haven't had... Uh, an early Dortmund goal to kind of level things up. No, they haven't. And and Dortmund, you know, the game is not open, but it's not just a dull sort of one team attack and the other team is just defending. You know, Atleti haven't just come to defend. They've they've come with a with a threat of getting a a goal themselves, and it means that you know the game isn't just compressed into a tight area. It's it's one that they could break out and the, we could. Yeah, I wouldn't say this is going to be a tight game with hardly any goals. There's another shot on target from Dortmund as we speak from Adeyemi, but uh, easily saved by uh, by Oblak. I tell you what, a goal. Just going away from that game very quickly. There's a goal for PSG in this first half. They're all over them. Mm. That was a header by Mbappe over the crossbar. Oh, that's it a was shot. Them nowhere near the goal. It was a dreadful header, but it lands this. Awful piece of skill from Kylian Mbappe, but uh, it uh, um, there's enough to land you a uh, free bet opportunity. So Jen will go, 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 go when, whenever she's ready. And you know what Jen's like. It might be five minutes yet. Um, but uh, once she's done that, um, get your uh, sportsbet.io usernames in to the Telegram chat. And the uh, however many of you are, we'll go into the hat. We'll pull two winners out and uh, you two will win 10 USDT. So uh, stay tuned, Southampton. Go goal against yeah. Preston. Yeah, I was about to mention that. So, uh, Jen says, are we ready? I to say yes. So at Southampton, <laughs> if they win tonight, they will go three points behind Leeds, but still with a massively inferior goal difference. Yeah. yeah. Or quite a big yeah. inferior goal. But then they play your last game. In, of the inferior season, enough. Mm. But yeah, if they play um, Leeds' last game of the season, Leeds need to get back to winning ways. But so there again, so do Leicester and so do Ipswich. Yeah. Nobody's taking that... Uh, Championship title race by the scruff of the neck, neck at all. One of those three teams could be just already up by now, couldn't they? If they just carried on mm-hmm. winning, or at least with some consistency to the results. But and the, the trouble is, Si, that the, um, obviously only two can go up automatically. One of those teams, the three teams we've mentioned, well, indeed, you can count Southampton in. Mm-hmm. Two, uh, you know, two of the four teams um, will end up in the playoffs and probably end up in the playoffs disappointed. And not in the best of Nick. Yeah. So uh, I heard on the radio today. I mean, I don't want to sort of add to your woes here as a Leeds fan, but uh, on uh, a football finance expert was saying today that, say for example, Leeds were to be promoted to the Premier League, mm. they would have to pay twenty million pounds in promotion bonuses to their squad, which would then put them in breach of profit and sustainability rules. That would then, as the res- as the <laughs> rules are now mean they would have a points deduction for the start of next season in the Premier League. So effectively, they would be, be punished a points deduction for getting promoted. Ridiculous. Mm. It has to change, doesn't it? It's just things like that. Just I mean, the- well, I noticed the um, defence of Forest um, when they, not their defence, yeah. not their defenders, I know but their defence against the points deduction was that um, it's all right if you actually just if you're all, always in the Premier League. Mm. I mean, there's no excuse for an Everton, for example. Um, but if you're a Forest and you go down, and you're obviously getting less revenue, and the rules are slightly different if you go down, you're, yeah, allowed, the, the, you're, the, you're allowed to make less if you go down. The, the the losses that you can incur in the Championship are, are less than in the Premier League, so it's yeah. it's, a, it's like a different. Um, but then you're kind of having to abide by both the, sets the goal of rules. The move, basically, yeah. yeah. And so when you get back up into the Premier yeah. League, as, as Forrest did, then you you end up getting hamstrung as a result of that. Mm. They didn't help themselves by selling about 84 players, though, did they? No, but they stayed up, didn't they? And teams that, um, you know, well, obviously this season... Oh, it could be a chance here for Barca again. Is this 2-0? Oh, it should have been. It should have been. Lewandowski. A right-footed effort goes blasting over the top of the crossbar, but there are chances at both ends of the park. And, uh, well, next gold market might be interesting. I don't know. It's a toss of a coin. PSG are pushing and Barca are pushing. Jen's gone go, go, go. So get your sportsbet.io. Yeah. Usernames into the Telegram chat now. We'll pick out two winners. I'll get my, shall I get my random number generator fired up? Or you, do you want um, to do it? You, you do it tonight. You okay. Do it tonight. Yeah, I mean... The goal was gaping there for Lewandowski. He's gone for power to try and beat the keeper and shoved it over the crossbar. But another goal is coming here. Uh, first half, 
Asian total over 1.5 is now 1.58, but there's, there's 25 minutes left in the half. Well, I think we, that's a, it's a good 1.58 for me. Shall we? We've obviously landed one spot bet. Shall we make um, next goal lands the next one in either game? Okay, yeah, yeah. Because I think there's one coming. That Dortmund Atleti is not uh, exactly not exciting. The Barca um, PSG game is like a basketball match at the moment. They are attacking left, right and centre. Um, one thing about Barcelona, I mean, they're, they're looking for goal number five. They're, they're not thinking, well, I've got two, two goal advantages, no. right, we've job yeah. done, we're going to just park the bus. They are going for as many as they can get. So uh, it's a very good game, that Barcelona against PSG. Certainly two sides that on gravitas mm. would be expecting to get to the latter stages. They're obviously quarterfinals, probably not enough for either of these two sides, really. <laughs> When Barcelona's team bus arrived at the stadium earlier, their club's um, more sort of passionate fans, ultras, mistook it for Paris Saint-Germain's bus and started throwing fireworks at their own team. Um, <laughs> apparently, uh, a couple of the players were interviewed as they came off the bus and said, yeah, for sure, they were throwing stones at oh. the bus. <laughs> their own fans were throwing because they thought it was PSG's bus. I mean, kind of funny, but then kind of stupid as well. So That's just ridiculous. Mm. Um, first winner, Jen. First winner, everybody, is... Lubo392. Congratulations to you, Lubo. 10 USDT will be winging its way your way as soon as we can. And the second winner of this uh, first uh, batch is Hakan. Hakan2217, right down the bottom end, Jen, is uh, winner of uh, a 10 USDT free bet. Next goal lands another opportunity for two more. You can win again if you're Hakan or Lubo, or, uh, but get your entries in. You've got to be in it to win it. And if you get your sportsbet.io usernames in, when we get the next goal, you see Jen go, 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 go. We'll get two more winners, 10 times, well, 10, times 10 USDT up for grabs tonight. We've got rid of two already. Hoo-ha, as Al Pacino do you, want, do you want a best bet for each game? We're, we're about um, halfway. Are you, are you chomping at the bit to do it? Yeah, I'll tell I've you what, got them, I've got them. This, um, this button hasn't been pressed for a while, so I'll press it. Mm. And you're on screen, Ty. <laughs> what do you always say now? Okay. Go for it. Borussia Dortmund versus Atletico Madrid. My best bet for this in the first half is for the first half to finish a draw. 1.76. I really haven't seen enough from either team in terms of creating high quality, clear chances for this deadlock to be broken before half time. Um, so I'm taking a bit of a risk here and saying that neither team scores before half time. You can maybe take the correct score of nil nil as well, but it's safer just to play the draw at 1.76. In the other game, Barcelona versus Paris Saint Germain. Both teams will score in the first half. That means I'm backing PSG to score in the first half. Uh, first half, both teams <laughs> score in that one is 2.68. You could play it as a double, and I can't quite get the odds up for the double, but uh, it's 2.68. Like Both teams score in the first half of the Barcelona game, and it's 1.72 for a draw in the first half of the Dortmund Atletico Madrid game. I can't disagree with that at all. After your heavy breathing exercises, mm. you did very well there, Si. Yeah. Um, I, I definitely see PSG scoring in this first half. They're flying forward now down the left-hand side into the penalty area. The ball corner. is uh, out for a corner on this near side, but PSG have got just over 20 minutes to get themselves back level on the night. And they would uh, still at level pegging. They would be back to just being one goal behind. But that goal before half time, if PSG could get it, would certainly give that half time team talk a little bit more pep and a little yeah. bit more uh, realism in terms of getting through in the second half. And that. Oh, that's an awful corner. That is the worst. I mean, that's like a primary school corner where you don't actually get it into play. What's going on, Dembele? I'm sorry, mate. You've got to get the corner into play. It hits the side He's netting. Just bent it into the side netting, isn't he? He's trying to get a whip on it and just got it all wrong, hasn't he? But yeah, that, if, as a professional footballer, not beating the first man is one thing, but actually not getting it in play is another, isn't it? That's just dreadful. So mm. uh, yeah, if everybody gets excited. I, I often think that at grounds, you kind of get loads of um, cheers and stuff in the corner. Yeah, your team's piling on the pressure. You get a corner, everybody goes, yeah. Very rarely do you see a goal from a corner. Yeah, I think as, as a fan at, at games, sometimes you're not necessarily cheering the fact that it's a corner. Sometimes it's just an outpouring of like, yes, we're on top, you know, and, and that's a, like a, and it's an opportunity to, a voice, bit, yeah. to a, voice that sort of supremacy. Yes, yeah. we're on top. Come on, keep going. We're on top. Yeah. You're not like going, yes, we've got a corner. Because Here come PSG, by the way. Oh, to the, try to get to the bottom, but it cuts back. It gets the ball back inside. Yeah, you get that little break, don't you, from the corner being awarded yeah. to the guy trotting across to take it. 
it's a chance to maybe just clear clear your lungs a little bit with uh, of some pent up uh, anxiety. But uh, PSG, have, uh, to be honest, it's the goal. PSG look the better of the two sides. Uh, to the byline again, another corner. Can he do better this time? We'll see. Oh, here's a good uh, chance for Dortmund. They're down the left-hand side. Bodies in the box. Cross wasn't good enough, though. Bodies in the box. Yeah. Could be a, that could be a, a, a drama series, I couldn't think, it? Yeah, I might sell the idea to Netflix. Yeah, Just the but, name at the moment, but yeah. I, could, I could develop yeah, there's it. There's no could. script behind this at all. We we can, develop, bodies in the box. Bodies yeah. in the box. Yeah. Coming next week. The new scintillating drama series by Simon Barlow. Yeah. Bodies in the box. Bodies in the box. Yeah. But he's got nothing to do with football. Yeah. No. Starring his friend, Killian Mbappe. Mm. <laughs> in, his, in his first acting role. <laughs> <laughs> no, because he was in uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles oh, as well. Okay. Wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's, he's Donatello. Yeah. So he has got an IMDb mm. page then. <laughs> so we have got some... Still need to get a goal, Dortmund Atleti, but it's not for one of trying, is it? And I tell you, it's Atleti that look the most likely. They're coming forward yeah. again here, so Four on four. Oh, oh, oh the ball. Oh, it Bad just needed ball. to get it inside the Southampton 2 0, by the way. Sport back. Dio's Southampton. I'll 2 0 up against Preston. Come on, the Saints. Oh, when the Saints yeah. go marching in. That's what they'll be singing. Not good news for Preston, though, is it? Because they had uh, faint hopes of getting yeah. into the playoffs. I said so tonight, th- th- I said when I kind of went through this at the start that if Preston lost tonight, that's them, their season. Chance! Done. Oh, what a save! What a save from Tostegan. He's denied Mbappe the oh. equaliser. Oh, Mbappe nearly gets you another spot bet opportunity. I mean, I call him Mbappe. K. <laughs> K, what's going on, man? K, man. Yeah. Special K. <laughs> Ball in again. Good cross. Headed up, not away. Oh, oh, that's not far away. And now, oh, now Barcelona, a chance to break here, Si. Yeah. PSG have committed loads forward and Barcelona on the left-hand side. Got men up in the middle. It's kind of four against four. Players are getting back defensively. It's a throw in on the far side. So more will get back now. But uh, just for a second there, it looked like Barcelona were going to really hit them on the break. Definitely the more open of the two games, isn't it? The the PSG game. That's a great save. Big, strong hand, strong wrist from Tostegan. And then even after that, Mbappe gets a header in here. Quite a brave header and it's headed off the line by uh, Koundé. That, that is not an easy header either because there's no pace on that ball. No. It's just dropping on his head and he's he's really used the neck muscles to fire it towards goal. But uh, yeah, it comes close again. But PSG at the moment not taking their chances whereas Barcelona took theirs. Lead by one goal to nil. 4-2 on aggregate in that one. So at the moment, Barcelona kind of comfortable in inverted commas because PSG are testing them. At the moment, um, Atleti still have that 2-1 advantage from the first leg. Nil-nil on the night. And uh, just over what, 15 minutes to go before we get to half-time. But Atleti, let's have a look at the stats, actually. I'll dig the stats out for this one. Barcelona got a red card, have they? Oh! Where's the red card this, come from? This is the red card here for this foul. Oh, it's going to be a penalty. It's going to be a penalty as well. I think it's just outside. It was in. He was in the box. So red card because he was the last man. So anyway, we get to do this first. Off, 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 off. Um, right, now we'll pick the bones out of this. Is this going to be a penalty or is it a free kick? But certainly a man coming off the park for uh, for Barcelona. Well, the referee's made his mind up. He sent off a Raujo. Is it inside or outside? I think that is outside. Ooh. Ooh. First contact's outside, but it continues in, doesn't it? Now nah, you're right. I think it's just out, only just outside. Mm. But uh, it was. I mean, but he had to do it, didn't he? Because he was through on goal, basically. That was going to yeah. be a goal. But now um, that changes the dynamic a little bit, doesn't it? Because Barcelona uh, four two up on aggregate, but they now got ten men to try and see PSG off. Do they now shut up shop and try and be a little bit more cautious? Can they? Um, he's just not left the pitch, Mr. Araujo. That, that, so. Sorry, that just shows how close that was to being yeah. in the, the, the um, little bit of shaving foam is right out, yeah. just outside the line of the penalty area. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, James. The answer, I, I don't know. I get think, yourself gone. Go on, get off. You I can, don't. Can Barcelona play that way? Can they play a shut up shop sort of scenario type game? Yeah. They're, they, you know, they're defensively. <sighs> Defensively, when Araujo and got, Kubasi play, they are solid. Can you get double red cards? Because at the moment, he's standing there arguing the referee. If, he, if this was a normal player, he'd get another yellow for this, wouldn't he? It's stupid. It's stupid. I, I can only think he's trying to buy time. This is the professional 
thing to do. You're buying time for your coach to think about a substitution mm. and also the substitutes get ready because they won't be warmed up. So the substitute defenders, they won't be warming up thinking they're going to get on at this point. Well, he's, got, he's got absolutely no defence there. No. It's a definite foul and uh, he was the last man. So... And he was through on goal. He wasn't like the bull was running away from him. So it's absolutely I'd right decision. Christiansen be coming on shortly, I think. Um, but he's not a very good defender. Um, so I would be worried about Barcelona holding on to this lead. Well, if this um, Southampton 3-0 against Preston, by the way, so Southampton having a great night in the championship. And they're improving the goal difference. And uh, now the, here is an opportunity. Because if this ball goes in from this free kick, then not only have Barcelona been punished by the uh, the man being sent off, but they've also... Scored a goal off the back of it, shoots, and it goes wide and high. So uh, no goal, but now bit Barcelona, 1-0 up, but down to 10, and that changes the prices a little bit. 2.42 for Barcelona, 3.8 the tie, 2.66 on the night for PSG. Could you back that? 2.66, a goal down, but this is 90-minute market for PSG to come back and win tonight? Yeah, I could back it because um, they have to win, and they've got an extra man now. Um the original stat of Barcelona, you know, uh, being the being you know the team to go through because that's what the last twenty five teams who've won the away leg. How many of those were involved red cars? I don't like, know. They kind of shot oh, themselves not, in the foot. You've only done half a job, haven't you? They've, yeah, <laughs> not many. They've shot themselves in the foot basically, and now we'll see how they how they get on with it. Um, I, d- I think they need another goal. Because I don't think they can defend. So basically put Frankie de Jong into the back four now. Frankie de Jong midfielder goes into a central defensive position. He's already caught out by Mbappe. He's run over the top. If he wasn't for Kunde covering there, they need to get either a full back on and put Kunde into central defence or they need to get another central defender on pretty soon, I think. Another goal in the first half, 2.16 now. And obviously uh, PSG were pushing anyway, but now they're pushing against less players. Yeah. Um, both teams to score in the first half, 2.82. Um, so there are markets there for you if you fancy PSG to take uh, advantage of all of this. And there's obviously the bookings markets too. Over 6.5 bookings, 1.99. Um, I don't think we get a red card, another red card market, do we? But I wouldn't be too surprised. Goal. Yet. Oh, we got a goal and it's come for Dortmund. It has. It's two all on aggregate. The Germans are back in the tie. Julian Brandt, who's into the team tonight, has provided the spark for the... Uh, the uh, Borussia Dortmund team there. I'm just going to see a replay of the goal. I mean, how how have Atleti conceded this? It's an awful clearance. And then Brandt pulls out of the penalty area. I know he, he ghosts in at the far post, does he? So he's lurking sort of far post now. Just a little dinky. He's onside. Outside of the foot. Takes it down nicely. Wriggles. Left-footed Great effort finish. underneath the keeper. Keeper should do better. Dortmund 1-0 up then. And there's another free bet landing. Jen, 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 do your thing, do your thing with the old go, 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 because the clubhouse creatures will want to win a 10 USDT free bet. Two of you will do. See Jen's go, 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 put your sportsbet.io username into the Telegram chat and we will pull out two more lucky winners. Um, so that now levels things off at two all in Germany. Dortmund, um, you, you probably consider Dortmund the favourites now. They're at home, it's all square, they've, they've got the momentum. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's that's a big Shift in momentum, absolutely, throughout the, the tie. You know, 2-1 down from the first leg. Uh, first half an hour, pretty even Stevens. You know, Atleti had a, a good attacking threat of their own and, and Dortmund had a couple of half chances and then they've scored the first goal. Could be a massive goal for the tie. Um, I'd expect Atleti to respond in some way, but it was a bit easy, that goal, wasn't it? You know, it's just a simple ball into the box. He got a bit of space and he got a shot away and the keepers let it in a little bit. So I would be a little bit concerned from Atleti's point of view. That might be the start of a general crumblingness, if that if that's the word. I don't know. Excuse, crumblingness. Excuse the um, the kind of housework behind the scenes here. Jen, with your fingers, could you tell me how long the preview for tomorrow night's Champions League is? Because we'll potentially play that at half time, yeah. everybody. I'm going to say 12. I think it's you, 12. You're guessing 12. I'm going to go 13. Yeah. I'm going to say 12. How many fingers has Jen got? Has she got 13 fingers? Um, well... Um, Oh, she's well. She's nine. Got, no, it was nine. nine. She didn't need thirteen fingers. Oh, oh no, thirty. No, fifty. Oh, she's in seconds. What? 
Nine thirty-six, uh-huh. nine thirty, something like that. Okay. Nine thirty-four. Yeah. All right, okay. We'll look ahead to tomorrow night's action then, <laughs> involving the uh, two English clubs tomorrow night. Obviously in the Champions League, those are both nicely poised. Score draws, weren't they, from the uh, the first leg? Bayern taking on Arsenal and uh, Manchester City taking on Real Madrid. So uh, you'll have to press the button on that, Jen. I'll give you the cue. You press the button on the half-time ones because I've not got them on my little machine here. Thumbs up from Jen. We're all sorted. Um, so we are. Uh, kind of 10 minutes-ish away from half-time in these two games. These have been good, two very good first halves, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, I think um, the, the the real drama's been in, in Barcelona with the red card after the Barca goal. But, um, yeah, the, the other game's been good as well. You know, Dortmund have, have ridden there. Not, you know, they, they've come through a, a tough spell when Atleti were probably just, just as good as them in the opening 25, 30 minutes. And now they're looking... Like they're on top in this game now, so uh, good period. Ideally for Dortmund, they they want to try and make this count now. Next ten minutes before half time, score again and get really ahead in the tie. I mean, they're not ahead in the tie, but they've got the home advantage going for them. But if they could to get get ahead in the tie by scoring uh, another goal before half time or just after half time, yeah, that is a real uh, that is a real chance for them to go through to the the semi finals. Um, I think Dembele is possibly having a worse game than last week when he was bad. He took that free kick when Mbappe should have been taking it a few minutes ago after the red card, and now he's just too late and trying to cut this ball back across, and just things aren't happening for Dembele tonight. This is why you spend big money on players, isn't it, for nights like tonight, you know, and probably the semi-final and the final if you can get there, um, because you, know, you, you you kind of get the checkbook out and you get your flashy player to try and score you important goals on a night where it really matters. And uh, this isn't where you want, where you, you you don't want your big player to kind of shrink in this kind of atmosphere. You want them to kind of chest out, go for it, and uh, maybe Dembele not quite doing that this evening. Have we gone stop, stop, stop yet, Jen? Are we going to go? We we'll do the draw in just a second for the okay. two winners, and uh, then then we'll pick another one to probably take us up to half time and maybe into the second half. We'll see how it goes. And um, have a think, Sai. Think about what we're going to go for next. Okay. As uh, Dortmund get to the byline, but it's going to be cut out that one. At the moment in that game, we are going to extra time uh, because yeah. that is currently locked at two all. Right, need to do some counting. Two, six, eight, ten, down to Lachie in the war. And And is that another goal? It is. It is. We were just saying they need, well, they don't need to score again, but it would be great for them to score again before half-time, Borussia Dortmund, and they have done. And that is that is a massive blow. I didn't see that because I was counting the post, looking at the uh, your entries, Clubhouse Creatures. So I need to ne- now see the replay, but Dortmund fans are going bonkers, and rightly so. They are happy with life because it's their side are 2-0 up tonight. Mats and the, uh, the the ex-Chelsea player, I'm not sure, is he on loan from Chelsea? I think he might, I think he might be on loan, Ball. so... Ball out on the left. Is it going to be crossed in? No, he's just played into the penalty area. Nice play on the left hand side. Oh, that's a good run. Oh, that's kind of almost the same place that they yeah. shot. They did the first goal from, wasn't it? That is concerning for um, for Atletico Madrid. That almost the same goal's been scored twice in a space of five I, minutes. There, I can sympathise a little bit more with the keeper on that side because he's obviously trying to protect his near post. And then maybe his legs aren't quite long enough to uh, stretch out to protect his far post. But goal Dortmund, and they're in control in Germany. <laughs> right, and Clubhouse Creatures, off the back of that goal, we will go for... Simon's thinking about the next spot bet opportunity. Um, but the first uh, third winner tonight, um, Jen, is Genetics, right at the top of the pile. Genetics, what's, congratulations to you. What's happened in... Spain. We've had a goal. We've had a goal. And it's the player, the much maligned Usman Dembele, who's got it for uh, PSG. There's been a yellow card in the aftermath as well for Kylian Mbappe and for Paul Cabarsi. So, he's, yeah, oh. it's a good finish at the back post from um, from Barcola's cross. And Kim, uh, Mbappe, K, misses it, but Dembele puts it in. So that's both teams to score first half there. Lands is about 26 but then, what's Mbappe done? He got into. I think they were. They're trying to get the ball back out of the back of the net, aren't they? And Mbappe's been booked for it. There's a load of stuff going on in the other game as well. Referee surrounded by players because of uh, an incident. Now the, oh, the player, the Atleti player, has got into the keeper. It's just momentum that's taking him into that. I don't think there's anything nasty involved. Goal check. Bat. Var 
Oh, checks over. Checks over. It's good. Given. So Barcelona yep. won. PSG won. Another goal in that game. And it's 2 0 between Dortmund and Atleti. It's all happening in this first half. And just to finish off the draw, it's all, I can't even do a draw because it's the goals going in left, right and centre. The first winner, just to clear things up, Genetics, you got the first winner. And I just run out the six. So it's the top of the first entry on the list. And then the last entry on the list, Jen, um, before the stop, stop, stop came in, which was Viv. So Genetics and Viv, you are winners with Clubhouse TV and Sportsbet.io. One apiece between Barca and PSG. 2-0 to Dortmund. Where are we going to go for the next spot bet? Um, hmm. let's go with uh, well, a um, a Spanish team to score. A Spanish team to score. So we're looking for Atleti or Barca yeah. to score a football goal for you. And you probably won't have to wait very long because the goals are flying in tonight. Mm. If you've gone over 1.5 in the first half in both of these matches, that would have been a very, very successful and probably quite lucrative double if you did that. And um, Simu says goal. Hakan says Dembele. And um, well done to the winners, says Jen, Viv and Genetics getting congratulated. And uh, Dortmund scored, says Dushan Sully. Dushan Sully? Hello. I don't Hi. think we've met before. How are you? Yeah. Very nice to welcome you to Clubhouse TV if you're mm. watching. And um, where in the world are you watching from? Always nice to see you, um, Dushan Sully. Um, Jen, once you finish doing your admin, could you um, message to Dushan Sully? To ask him if he's watching our, our stream. And if not, encourage him to. Tell him he has to. Um, he doesn't have to do anything. Um, but uh, apart from gamble responsibly. Uh, but Dushan Sully, very nice to have you here. Hakan says PSG scored. Indeed. So we have got uh, plenty going on, well, everybody. They might score again. They're looking very dangerous at the moment. Um, Dark Devil says congratulations to the winners. Dan says that as well. That's exactly what we want. Yeah. Um, it's all about hands around the world. We're all in this together, enjoying these uh, Champions League matches. Yellow card for a Dortmund player there. Loads going on tonight. It's a good one. As uh, Jen does, ex- it's like a remote control, Jen. She's done exactly what I've said. Um, hi, Dushan Sully. Are you watching our live stream? And uh, hopefully Dushan Sully will respond. Good to have you here if you are watching Dushan. And uh, hopefully it'll be the first of many times we, we meet each other. We're here for every Premier League game. We're here for every Champions League game. We're here for every Europa League game. There'll be other games besides as well. So uh, always be with us. We try and have a little bit of fun. We put up the best bets and we, uh, or what we think are the best bets. They don't always land, obviously. Um, but uh, we do our best to try and steer in the right betting direction. Mm, well, Atletico Madrid have lost before tonight. They have lost five of their last eight Champions League away games. So this could be... Six of nine, it's becoming a worrying pattern. Uh, I guess a defeat is bad, but if they were to lose by two goals, they're out of the tie, aren't they? So yeah. if, they, if they need to get one back, one back would still be a defeat, but it would give them a chance of extra time and penalties and maybe yeah. going through somehow. Yeah, because at the moment we've got two on. positive results. The home sides would be going through. Yeah. Dortmund at one goal ahead and Barcelona are one goal ahead, but Barcelona, remember, down to 10 against PSG, who have looked... To be honest, I think um, Barcelona have played well in this first half. Lost a man, obviously. Yeah. But PSG, I think, have probably been slightly better of the two sides in terms of their attacks and uh, their their likelihood to score. We'll have a look up that the ball's in Barcelona's half. Yeah. You know? But Barcelona scored a counter-attack, breakaway goal. They've, they've looked as though they've, they've played like the away team on the counter-attack because PSG have dominated. And they were dominating... Oh, that's a good run. Before so, the... Oh! oh. oh. They were dominating before the red card as well. <laughs> That's skill involved in, in this match here. Yeah. Uh, Barcelona against PSG. Wonderful stuff on the left-hand side. A jinking run left to right, then volleys it across. Nobody's on the back post. Just needed somebody a bit brave to be diving in on that back post. And there's going to be another goal there for PSG. Yeah, he's, he's having a good game, Barcola. And um, he set up the Dembele equaliser. He's uh, He's got the... Uh, he's certainly got the bit between his teeth and looks very skillful and very direct when he gets the ball. So... Uh, Maybe look at him to score, to be honest. Uh, Bradley Barcola or certainly be involved in a in a goal. We've got uh, anytime goal scorer prices. And in that game, Barcola is 4.45. Lewandowski missed that chance. Remember, that was the chance at 1-0 up. If they put that in 2-0, 2-0 with 11 men, they go through surely there, don't they? Robert Lewandowski, 3.75 to score any time. Kylian Mbappe is 1.65 to score any time. That's Skinny, a big but, it's like, but he scores, doesn't he? Yeah. he well, Cole, Cole Palmer was 1.9 last yeah. night, and I was like, I'm not sure I'd back him at 1.9. He got I, a hat-trick in like half an hour. Didn't you play him to score four or more? 
But no. <laughs> I've got a yellow card there for Hermosa. He, he would miss the next, next match if Atleti make it through. Um, but uh, Or indeed the first match probably next season. But uh, I don't, do they carry on? I guess they do. Uh, but uh, Hermosa in the book. Two minutes of any time uh, in Germany with Dortmund leading by two goals to nil. Their fans, this, this is a good thing about playing at home, isn't it? Because being 2-0 up and being ahead in that tie, all the Dortmund fans will be really noisy. Those yeah. players will walk off with their cheers ringing in, the, in their ears. Um, whereas... Uh, um, Atleti don't have any of that kind of support there. They'll have support there, but won't be anywhere near as vocal. Um, Barcelona will have support, certainly, in their ground, but uh, a nervous support, Si, as they approach half-time. Three minutes added on there, two more to play. Yeah, very nervous, I think, in Barcelona. I would say the nerves the nerves could get jangling there in Dortmund as well if it gets to like, the last 10 minutes yeah. and it's still only 2-0. Uh, they need a third goal to give themselves that, that bit of breathing room. But the home side could not have asked for much more than 2-0 at half-time, no, could they? they? They'd yeah. be well happy with yeah. the work so far. Um, Barcelona, things were going their way until the red card. In terms of the result, is that chance oh, off the line? Dortmund only almost did make it 3-0 before half time. I think it was cleared off the line behind the goalkeeper. Um, but what a half it's been for uh, Borussia Dortmund. They're um, they're in a strong position. Let's look at see if we've got quali- to qualify markets in that one now. Yeah. Two, two excellent halves of football. Yeah, we do. So Dortmund, 1.18 to qualify now. Atletico Madrid, 4.5. Yeah. As I said, at half-time, it is half-time in Germany and the home crowd uh, have stalled and they are applauding their team off because they're very happy, uh, the fans there. Dortmund 2-0 up on uh, the night and 3-2 up on aggregate. So it's all to do for Atleti in the second half. Don't forget the spot bet. The next one, we've landed two already. The next one is for one of the Spanish sides to score a goal. Um, So we're looking for either Atleti or Barcelona to score for us. And if they do, then uh, spot bet lands and uh, you can get yourself 10 USDT if you enter. Uh, but that will probably be the second half. And PSG are the team flying forward at the moment. And um, Ball played into the area. Volley across goal. Oh. That's not far away. Oh. That is not far away. That's a great piece of skill. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tremendous play in this first half in that Barcelona PSG. Again, the skill levels are high. I guess Nuno Mendes, is it, who has the shot? Side uh, foots it across. It only, only just misses the far post. Or was it was it Dembele? I can't couldn't quite see who it was there. Yeah, I mean we, we're on the Spanish side. The one no, it was Dembele. Yeah. The thing you've got in your advantage here, you might be thinking, well, Barcelona, they're down to ten. Why are we why are we looking for them to score? They are still attacking. They will still attack with ten. As someone says, they probably they know how to attack better than they know how to defend. Yeah. And Atleti are certainly playing for you because they need to score to stay in the Champions League. So you've got two Spanish sides there that will be playing for you in the second half to try and get that spot bet landed as soon as they possibly can. Um, tell us what you're up to tonight. Tell us how you are betting tonight. Um, tell us what you're looking forward to as well over the uh, the next few days because we've got uh, two cracking nights of uh, two more cracking nights of European action with the other two quarterfinals of the Champions League tomorrow night. And obviously all four quarterfinals of the Europa League and then the Conference League on Thursday. So loads to look forward to here on Clubhouse TV with sportsbet.io. Southampton 3-0 up. I said before, maybe trying to improve the goal difference now that they're at that stage. But actually looking at the goal difference, they're so far behind. They're like 11 goals behind Leicester, 12 goals behind Leeds. I think they're probably just thinking about wrap up the win, save some energy for the fixture pile-up they've got mm. to come because, you know, this is they're playing every midweek and every weekend from now till the end of the season like the Southampton to make up the game so yeah. they I think they'll just they'll be happy with 3-0 and just try and conserve energy second Re- half I read a piece um, this morning about Ipswich because Ipswich don't play for about another 12 days or 14 days or something because um, their next game's against Coventry but Coventry's fixtures have been rejigged to fit in mm. um, the semi-final of the FA Cup so uh, Ipswich don't play for a while so if um, Leicester and Leeds can win their games in the meantime then all the Ipswich are going to be having to do is kind of play catch-up. But that's yeah. a big if because neither side are winning at the moment. But uh, we will see. It's half-time in both of the Champions League games. Barcelona down to 10 men, but it's one apiece. And they are ahead on aggregate. They lead by uh, four goals to three overall. So the uh, half-time whistle has blown in Spain. Chance. It's already blown. Oh. I've just said the half-time sorry, whistle's blown. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> that's all. It's all we're, we're behind. Um, Barcelona at one apiece against their PSG. And Dortmund 2-0 up against Atleti. Half-time there. Um, Dortmund, the German side, happy at half-time. But as, as you said, Cy, if Atleti can get a goal back, you know those fans will start to get a little bit tetchy if it gets to the last five minutes and uh, it's only a one-goal lead. 
But uh, the semi-finals beckon at the moment for Barcelona and for Dortmund. We'll be back for the second half soon. I'm now going to give Jen some semaphore because, Jen, when I count to three, I want you to press that button and we'll look ahead to tomorrow night in the Champions League. One, two, three. It's all going this Wednesday evening. Uh, it's the Champions League. It's the English teams into this and after. Some crazy games last week, uh, games that we, we sort of predicted in a way. I'll take it. Uh, Gavin Hamilton and John Driscoll here to talk through. First up, Man City against Real Madrid. I mean, what a game this was in the Bernabeu. Um, again, the price that Real Madrid, 4.8 anywhere in the world. It seems a bit weird to me, but um, uh, 40, 41 games unbeaten at the Etihad for Manchester City. The draw is 4.2, City 1.67. Um, start with you on this one, John, for Madrid. Uh, they, I mean, it didn't feel like a Real Madrid performance, but it, in the end, it was a Real Madrid scoreline. They, they kept themselves in the game. They were, they were. I mean, the ability to score goals from nowhere is something that should frighten the city, shouldn't it? In this leg, yeah, and that's that's the case of both of them. I, I it was three all the first game. I looked up the xG. Real Madrid zero point six five, Man City zero point eight. So there's hard, you, there was hardly a, a proper chance in the game. For all, it was, I thought, really high-quality game, really good technical stuff. Obviously, all three of City's goals came from long range. Um, and and Real Madrid's, um, I think the deflected Camavinga shot was just inside, wasn't it? And obviously, then the Valverde volley was also inside the box, but it hardly strikes you as it's hardly a chance, was it? You know, it was a stunning volley that, he, that he hit on the run. So that was the quality of this game. I said last week... To me, this, these are the best two teams in it. This, this is the. This would have been nice to be the final of three three. Would have had extra time, penalties, everything else. Um, I thought. I thought the worrying thing for City, the reason that I'm sort of with you on that four point eight for for Real Madrid, is that Madrid were able to nick the ball and counter quite a lot, and. You don't want Real Madrid countering tackling you, countering because they've got such rapid players who were so good. Now they wasted quite a lot of promising situations, which is why the XG is so low, even though they looked as though they, both teams looked as though they were creating chances, but not really getting into the point where they can actually pull the trigger. So I, I don't think this is a shoe in. I think, I, think it's a, I know they won 4 0 last season, City, in, in a similar situation. It doesn't strike me. Watching that first game, watching Real Madrid recently be solid, solid in again at the weekend and able to rest players against Mallorca. Um, I think this is well up for grabs. And so therefore 1.67 against 4.8 seems a bit too big a gap. Yeah, that, that draw at 4.2 looks a bit, you, you think extra time. We didn't think it was going to go to extra time last time and it just about got there uh, with a couple of goals in, in added time. Gavin, City... I know they rested Rodri at the weekend. He complained that he was he was a bit tired. They managed to rest Foden. Um, looking at the team they put out last week, and you think, well, Grealish wasn't really at the race that they dealt with Grealish in the Real Madrid. Um, obviously, yeah. Foden they didn't deal with at all, and that was he he, he could be the key player yeah. again this this time round. And they're without uh, who was it? Too is it too many got himself suspended? Yeah. Um, yeah. So there, yeah, there are there are the issues for for Real Madrid, but City. I, are there signs of so many well, games going on? Usually they're in this competition at the end of the season and they've already won the league. Yeah, but, and, and they look like they will now, don't they? I mean, after the weekend's results, they're in a much stronger place, although you know, there's, there's still a few games to go. But they're, they're in a much stronger position than they were seven days ago. Um, and they are a machine, City. They're a phenomenal machine. It's it's impossible to second-guess Pep. Uh, you, we don't know you know, what he what he will pull out of the bag. I mean, they've got Carl Walker back, but by the looks of it, I think he, he's, you know, that that's... Something I think could shore up the sort of the right side of defence with, yeah, with with I know Vinicius Junior played more essential role, but he, you know, that threat down the left hand flank is there. Uh, Walker's pace I think would would help them in in that respect. Um, but I think I think John's right. I think I think uh, I mean City are this phenomenal machine um, and are grinding. Yeah, they they, they but they still conceding goals. You know, they, against Luton at the weekend, yeah. you know, even for a mistake. So they, they, they've got a mistake them in, in every game and they can see the goal in every game. So um, you would think that Madrid, having rested players, um, quite a few players, I mean, you know, uh, almost half the team rested the weekend, that will, they, they've got to come in into this with, um, I, I think, a real hope against them. And I think the 4.2 for the draw, um, Madrid at 4.8 is very high. Um, given given 
the, 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 the pedigree of not just the players but also the coach. I mean, Ancelotti, you know, he he he, he sort of uh, he played uh, Vin, Vinny Junior in the centre, didn't he? And and Rodrigo out on the left in the first game, which sort of uh, which I, I don't think City were expecting. So he's he's capable of yeah you know, altering things to, to you know to 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 suit the situation, and he's done it time and time before. So um, I'm erring on. On Madrid, I mean, I think this this could go all the way. It could be a, 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 a yeah, a lot of goals into extra time, possibly penalties. But I think Madrid have got something there, and I think City are this machine. But I don't think they're going to roll over Madrid by any any stretch of the imagination. So I think there's going to be goals, but it, it could be a real ding dong affair. Um, I think there's there's a, a high chance of that happening, and I, I sort of fancy Madrid to, to you know to, to pull something out of the bag. Uh, yes, there's the to qualify market there as well, uh, which is scrolling along uh, under your screen. I can have, uh, what was it, Real Madrid? 3.35 3, against 3. the qualify. 3.3. Yeah, it's um, not bad, is it? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, the other game on Wednesday night, and we will just say that's one to enjoy. And again, watch it in play in the with the clubhouse in sports, with sportsbet.io. Uh, Bayern Munich Arsenal again, 2.42 Bayern at home. Um it's Bayern in the, it's, yes, it's Bayern Munich. Yes, it's, they're not champions. Uh, the draw is 3.65. Arsenal 2.8 to go and win there. Gavin, this seems very tight compared to... I mean, Arsenal now put in two, for them, since Christmas anyway, poor performances. And they hit Bayern, who are very used to a poor performance. Yeah, and Bayern, and Bayern um, rose to the occasion, didn't they, um, at the Emirates? They were they were really impressive, I think. Uh, and, and, you know, we have to give them credit for the way that they performed. And, uh, yes, it's been a difficult season. Um, but they, 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 the quality was there, and they, and they demonstrated that against us, and, and it's very tightly poised. Um, and I think the, the numbers reflect that. Um, I'm, I'm erring on. The, I mean, Madrid. Uh, sorry, Madrid, Munich's. Bayern Munich's home form is, is is phenomenal in the Champions League. You know, I mean, even in the last round, yeah, losing, disappointment to Lazio, they stormed back at home in the in the return leg, um, and I, I fancy them to do it again. I think it will be tight. Um, I think Arsenal are just. I, I mean, how do how do you react to that game against Villa, losing two 0 at home in a, in a game that you you know you on the first half performance they sh- they should have won comfortably. Um, so that how do you react to that? That's that's a, that's a big concern for them. Um, and I, I, I fancy Bayern to do it. I think this this is the season now for them, isn't it? Because of um, Leverkusen winning the Bundesliga title at the weekend. Um, so this is it, and this is this is these are the games that Bayern in the traditionally have, have stepped up to and have that experience and Harry Kane has that added added incentive as if he needs any any more um to, to, you know to perform in this game so I'm I think it's going to be tight maybe only a single goal in it maybe into extra time but I, I fancy Bayern to, to pull it off yeah it's been a long time since Bayern have lost a game at home in the Champions League John it, it, it is a tough one for Arsenal yeah and they uh, Bayern were the better team in the first game as well weren't they I thought than, than Arsenal I think Arsenal sort of got away with it at two-two. I know there was a point, you know, five minutes in when you know, both Premier League teams were winning, and everyone was on Twitter saying Farmers League and all of that. But then it, it all very quickly turned around, didn't it? And uh, and yeah, it, it wasn't a bad result for Arsenal because they're in it. They're they're a good team with with and again in common with just about everyone left in it. They can hit you on the break. Teams generally don't try and play on the break anymore, do they? They all try and and play from the back and take gambles, which is why we see so many goals. Um, but they're all capable. They've all got so much pace in their team, but they don't really sort of play that low block counter attack. And I don't think we'll see Arsenal do that. I mean, what we did, maybe there's a clue in how they played against City, um, where that was probably one of their more admirable performances in this this stuttering little run that they're on, where you, you know they had a game plan, they executed it, they got the result that they were satisfied with. Uh, so that might suggest that they could do the same against Bayern Munich, take it long. But two point four two for Bayern to win a home game when they were when they looked better than Arsenal in the first game is not bad. So I'm sort of tempted to go with 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 Bayern just to win it. Yeah, could be could be a very intriguing evening. I, I'm not sure there'll be too many goals here, but then again, Harry Kane might have his say once again against Arsenal. Uh, Bayern Munich. Uh, this is their season, as Gavin says. It's all on this one uh, because Bayer Leverkusen won the Bundesliga on Sunday, and Arsenal. Well, this might be their season. You, you, you never know. You never know. Uh, Bayern Munich Arsenal is the second of uh, two games in the Champions League on Wednesday. Follow them all the way, maybe to penalties, in, with sportsbet.io.
covering every game of the English Premier League, Champions League and Europa League live as they happen. This is Clubhouse TV. And a very warm welcome back, everybody, everybody around the world. You're all over the place, aren't you? But it's very good to have you here on this uh, Tuesday evening. Clubhouse TV with Sportsbet.io. Fun, fast, ferociously fair, taking you through every single kick of this Champions League. Quarterfinals tonight and tomorrow night. Then we've got Europa League and Conference League on Thursday. And then we're back in uh, Premier League action at the weekend. So uh, tune in when the football's on. We'll probably be here. We'll probably be here. And uh, it's good to have you with us. Alexi, thank you very much for your nice uh, comment on our Twitter feed as well. Very much appreciated. And if you're not following us on Twitter, do it now. It'll be on the uh, screen, the info bar ring across the bottom there. Follow Clubhouse TV on X, it says. I call it Twitter still. At CHTV Live. So get in touch with us that way. Get in touch with us on the Telegram chat. And uh, for the spot bets, we're running spot bets for free bets tonight. We need a Spanish side to score next. Or, or to score. Um, so we're looking for a Barcelona goal or an Atleti goal. When one of those happens, then another two of you can win 10 USDT tonight, courtesy of Clubhouse TV and Sportsbet.io. James, Simon and Jen producing tonight. And so si, looking ahead to the second half, we're just underway for the first, second half Dortmund to Atleti. Um, nil and uh, Dortmund have taken control of this one, haven't they? Yeah, those two goals uh, just before half time put them in front now, 3 2 on aggregate. Diego Simeone's not messing about, though. I mean, he clearly wasn't happy with how that first half finished. He's taken off three players, a triple change at half time. And I, I, I actually can't believe the players he's taken off. He's taken off Alvaro Morata. Okay, he missed one big chance in the first half. He's taken off Cesar Aspilicueta, one of his most experienced defenders. Who made the best bit of defending yeah. I've seen for a long time. And he's taken off the other wing back, Nahuel Molina. So mm. three pretty big players there. Um, you know, Molina's a World Cup winner. Aspilicueta is a Premier League winner, a Champions League winner, I think, during his time Ooh. at Chelsea. And uh, Alvaro Morata as well. I mean, he's cracky. What? He's not one. I don't know. But um, And he's, he's sent on three relative youngsters. He sent on Pablo Barrios, a defender, Rodrigo Riquelme, sort of midfielder, and Angel Correa to play up front. Um, Correa is not, not a youngster, but still, he, he's not anywhere near as experienced as Morata. This is a game, I think, that, that calls for experience, you know, and... Simeone's just ripped up the, just just ripped up the team there, and I, I don't know what he's done. I can only say, for me, I don't know. I think Dortmund win the second half. Uh, you know, well, I think that they don't need to win the second half, but I think Dortmund to win the second half is a bet because I don't like the substitutions that Simeone's made. Well, all the momentum is with Dortmund. This goes two, two goals point, in that first half. Two point seven for Borussia Dortmund seven. to win the second half. Two point seven for the German side to win the second half and to canter into the semi-finals, according to Simon B alongside me. I'm just about to get underway for the second half between Barcelona and PSG. Don't forget, Barcelona are down to 10. One apiece on the night, which means that Barca do hold a slender advantage, but obviously the one-man advantage for PSG could be all-important. And PSG played well that first half. They did. Um, I thought they were the better team before the red card as well, but that really has tipped the balance in their favour now. Araujo's sending off and they got the equaliser shortly after they're looking good one thing i would note here is the amount of yellow cards and and well obviously the red card and the yellow cards that have come in the first half could lead to more yeah there were six yellows last week in the first leg yeah in the first half we've had a red and three yellows which counts for five the total bookings market is at 9.5 so it, just after the red card i remember commenting over six and a half was bang on w money so it's obviously extended since then. We've had more yellow since then. And they're going to not stop, are they? Yeah. Um, over 9.5 is where the market is set now for total bookings. And it's 1.9 for overs and 1.8 for unders. But I'll be an overs player with the way that Chance first half went. Oh, that's a good challenge. Sorry, Si, but that was a really good ball into the box. Atleti still pushing. Can they get a good ball across here? Atleti started the second half very well, actually. They've obviously yeah. had a little bit of a, a chat at half-time, to put it politely. Maybe the hairdryer was out, but Atleti have, uh, are on the front foot in this uh, first five minutes of the second half. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Simeone knows more more than me about his, his team oh, and his sorry, squad. Don't put, you know? don't put yourself down, Si. He does so. I mean, no, he, don't put yourself down. He's not, he's not given up the tie, has he? He's made three substitutions that he thinks, in his head, are the right thing to do to, to liven his team up. And there is a oh, reaction. A reaction a has got them a goal. We have got a goal and it has come to Atleti Madrid. So we're all square again. 
at the start of the second half. It's an own goal, I think, wasn't it? In the end, it got uh, kind of corner came in. It wasn't cleared. It bounced about a bit. And in the end, it came off somebody's knee into the back of the net. Dortmund 2, Atleti 1, game on in Germany. So, just seeing that again. And Atleti, as I say, started this second half like a house on fire. Whatever Simeone said at half-time has G'd them up. And the defender there just trying to trap the ball. It comes off his toes, goes behind the keeper. And uh, in the end, it goes into the back of the net. So Dortmund 2, Atleti 1, all square on aggregate and all to play for now in the uh, next 40 minutes. Yeah, uh, so I'm on bookings for the second half, Barcelona versus PSG. I'm still on Dortmund to win that that second half, though. You know what that means? You know who just scored? It was a Spanish side. It was a Spanish it side. It was a Spanish side, everybody. Correct. Oh, it's a good job I'm awake, Although isn't it? It was, an, it was a German own goal. <laughs> yeah, should we count it? Yeah, okay. I think we'll count it. So, Jen, 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 get yourself gone, gone, gone. Get those go, go, goes into the Clubhouse TV Telegram chat. And uh, if you're new to this, if you're well, if you're old hands, you know what to do. If you're new to it, get your sportsbet.io username at the ready. When you see go, go, go appear in the Telegram chat, get your username in. I will pull out totally at random two names, and uh, the two names will get themselves 10 USDT in terms of free bets. So Jen will go, 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 go very soon indeed. She tends to toy with you a little bit. She'll just kind of like just play with you a bit, and then she'll go, 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 go. Um, get your sportsbet.io used names in, and the two of you will win 10 USDT. Here come, right, Dor- this is where we expect now a response from Dortmund. I think so, yeah. Um, here they come, trying to get the ball in the box. Oh, was he chance, shoot? chance, chance. Oh. Why didn't he shoot? He back heeled it to Adi Amy. But anyway, well, two, two of them had a chance. Adi yeah. Amy should have hit it first time. He tried to control it and couldn't. Ball in again, and Atleti able to clear it this time. Not very well, <laughs> has to be said. No, come on, Dortmund. Here we go. Sancho plays it in the box, and Matson does he want a corner? No, goal kick. I'll tell you what, clubhouse creatures around the world, however you're betting, good luck, gamble responsibly. We've got two cracking quarterfinals yeah. on our screens at the moment. I've got another idea for a spot, but... Have you? Mm. A Frenchman right. to score next. Okay, mm. right. So if a Frenchman scores, then um, it's next spot back. We've landed three now, spot bets. There's potentially two more as we go through the half. For Jen's gone, gone, gone. So get your sportsbet.io usernames into the chat now and you stand a chance of winning 10 USDT in free bets courtesy of sportsbet.io. Here come Atleti again, but this time the attack is uh, nullified by the German defence and they're able to bring the ball out on the left-hand side. One apiece between Barcelona and PSG. Barcelona down to 10. At the moment, Barcelona with that slender advantage. 4-3 on aggregate. Dortmund 2, Atleti 1. It's a reverse of the uh, first leg scoreline. Three apiece on aggregate at the moment. That would be going into extra time. Potentially penalties will be with you for every kick. We won't just kind of get to 90 and just kind of say, right, we're off now. So that's Simon, no. Mike, because he's like that. No, I- I'll stay. It's an important night. I think he got cramped then in my right my right leg. Oh. Yeah. But very, yeah, the, I was very brave. I think I think there's a good chance of a Frenchman scoring tonight in the games that we've got because we've got... There's a chance here for PSG. Blocked. Ooh. I fancy PSG to win that. Yeah, there. you've got Mbappe, who's usually good for a goal. You've got Barcola, who's having a very good night tonight for PSG. You've got Dembele, um, who scored already. Atleti, uh, no. Zaire Emery is a goal scoring midfielder, uh, plays in the PSG team, so that's four there. You got any relation to Unai? No. You have got no. Griezmann for Atleti, who's just orchestrating the attacks for them, and you've got Kunde at the back for Barcelona if they get a corner, maybe. He... So there's, there's enough Frenchmen out there to I think. May we? Warrant a goal. May we? Oh. Bon chance to Le Monde. Mm. Hey, you see? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. You were paying attention oh, in class, see. weren't you? I, I did ne- that never leaves you, does it? It's like riding a bike. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I couldn't say what riding a bike in French is, though. Uh, we never did that in, our, in my uh, GCSE. Something, something with a velo. Mm. Anyway, good luck, everybody. Gamble responsibly. Clubhouse TV with sportsbet.io. The world's most fantabulous Bitcoin sports book. We're having a good time tonight. This yeah. Stop, stop, stop is in the chats right now. I'm going to pull out two winners. I'll just count them up. Right, I know how many there are. I will do the draw. 
Dum dum dum. First number is pulled out of the hat. Right here we go. It's Lubo three nine two has won again. Wow! Congratulations, Lubo. Yeah. You are a winner, a repeat winner tonight on Clubhouse TV, and the Ooh. second winner is Imarios from Cyprus. Imarios. You have got yourself Good 10 work, USDT guys. coming your way. So the next spot bet, we need a French score, a French, a person of French nationality to score a goal. Yeah. I think there's a good chance. Uh, Lewandowski just been booked. So that's the first yellow card of the second half in uh, Barcelona. That's now six overall, or six bookings for the game because the, the red counts for two. So six, and we need another four to land the over 9.5, which, which is a very tempting price of 1.9 at the break. So uh, Lubo and Amarios, well done. Two more of you. It might be the same two. It might be new twos. You know, if we get a French goal scorer, then we'll do that all again. And two more of you can win 10 USDT in terms of free bets. Um, Imarios says, thank you. Absolute pleasure, Imarios. Um, we always say gamble responsibly, but with a free bet, it's different, isn't it? You can kind of like maybe be a bit more. It's not even your money, is it? Um, be a little bit more adventurous. It's up to you. You could just go for a nice kind of like price around about two and try and make it into real oh! money. What, 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 sorry, what? PSG. What? Fabian Ruiz. I has thought just something was wrong with you. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for. I mean, he's not French, so it wouldn't trigger the uh, free bet. So Mbappe plays him in. Lovely sympathetic pass. Drills it across just wide. How do you do a sympathetic pass? Does it come across to you and go, yeah. oh. Yeah. God, keep oh. keep going. Yeah. It's all right. Everything's okay. fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dortmund have the ball. They yeah, it's kind of it's back over to Dortmund, isn't it? Their fans, as we said at half time, were kind of like singing them off, and everybody was happy. Now they're not quite so happy. A little bit more tense, maybe, in that German ground. But it's the uh, team in yellow, Dortmund, who are pushing to try and get back ahead. Ball out onto the left hand side, but uh, good defending there by the right back and uh, PSG punt the ball downfield. And uh, yeah, just returning it to Dortmund, to be honest. Um, some nerves in that uh, Barcelona camp. Um, that uh, game isn't not quite going the way they want it. They are wow. ahead in the tie still, but uh, a little bit more sort of tactical now required with just 10 men on the Is pitch. This a chance for Dortmund. It could be through. And the keeper does well, sweeping up <laughs> behind the defence. That's what you call hoof. He's basically banged yeah. that into the sky. Got rid Away from the goal. 1.26 for Dortmund. This is the 90-minute mark. It's tonight. Obviously not the uh, the tie, the two-legged tie. 1.26 for Dortmund. 5.1 the tie. 16 if you fancy Atleti to win tonight. Barcelona yeah. are one apiece with PSG. 10 for Barca. 1.54 for PSG. 3.3 the tie. So if you fancy 10 men of Barcelona to win tonight, um, you got a princely 10 on your screen. But uh, PSG look the better side, I think, tonight so far in my humble opinion, but we'll see how that goes over the next few minutes. We're looking for a French scorer. Chance, 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 chance. Oh, he's put it wide. Wow. Oh. Correa. How, How's he missed? I'd have backed you to score that, Si. He did everything right there. He controlled the ball. He wriggled himself into a shooting position. And then the easy bit came, and he missed the target. Look at this. Oh. He just... Dallied on it and he didn't get it away. Grayed out though between Barcelona and PSG. Why is that? Is this a goal? It is a goal. It's going to come to PSG and it's going to Ooh. come from a corner. PSG about to take the lead wow. in Spain. We'll see wow. the goal on our screens in just a second. Our feeds are a little bit behind the live action, but it's a corner from this near side. And the French is it going to be a French goal scorer? That's the big I question on our list. Certainly hope so. Here come Atleti again on the other screen. Oh, it's all go tonight. There is action everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so the oh, we've frozen. We've PSG frozen. corner is about Where's to be taken. Time? I can tell you it's going to be a goal, and it's going to be a goal for uh, Vitinha. Ah. He's going to score this goal for PSG. He's not French, I'm afraid. He ain't French. He's not French at all. He's Portuguese. But it's Vitinha that has scored for PSG. And now we're back level with four all between Barcelona and PSG, with three all between Dortmund and uh, their rivals tonight, Atleti Madrid. So at the moment, both of these matches are going into extra time. It's oh, a great That's shot. That's a good finish, isn't it? Yeah. Into the bottom left-hand corner. And it's nothing more than PSG deserve. It's from distance. Keeper has no chance. Goal, PSG. <laughs> it is all happening tonight, Clubhouse Creatures. There is a lot going on. On, in these two games. Elsewhere, Southampton 3 0 up against Preston. Of course, Southampton um, sponsored by uh, Sportsbet.io. So they're doing the job. Could be a chance for Barcelona. They're in the box. It's it. They need to score. Oh, oh, what a miss. 
Gundogan. Gundogan fires in that right-footed shot, but it goes wide of the mark. Oh, wow. This is good stuff tonight. Your, yeah. re- your restless legs are going, oh, aren't they? the post. He hit the post. It wasn't just a fraction wide. He actually hit the post. So, yeah, there's, there's more chances for goals. We said in the first half, you know, back, back goals in Barca, PSG. Do your restless legs get more restless when it's tense? Yeah. Very yeah. much so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. His little legs are going like this down underneath the desk. His Simon's tense. Everybody's I, tense. I, you know, I couldn't sleep very well last oh, night. Oh, what's the matter, Si? Oh, is that a red card? Have we? Uh, has he evened it up? For Xavi. It's a red card for oh. the Barcelona coach, I think. Well, I can understand him getting a little bit tense. And oh, so he's, dear. He's taking his coat off and he's going to basically go up... Uh, Somewhere else. I I always thought the rule was that once you got sent off, not not talking managers here, but as a player, once you get sent off, you were supposed to basically just go. He's kicked. He's kicked something. He's he's sworn at somebody. He's basically deserved that red card. Um, yeah. But uh, when when the um, the first player got sent off tonight, um, he's basically crouching next to the dugout and watching. Yeah. I thought you had to make yourself scarce. Maybe the official needs to go and tap him on the shoulder and get him to move, and it may have taken some time to find him. He, I don't know, he had that hair, he had that hairstyle. You'd be able to pick him out in the crowd, wouldn't yeah. you? But, uh, but, yeah, uh, no, I, I agree. I think I think that's still a rule. So Xavi's got to go down the tunnel. He won't be able to watch from the fe- sideline. Fester in the dressing room, watch it on the telly. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, he'll be nervous now because at the moment, uh, potentially that red card that he uh, got, uh, Araju, the uh, defender early on, is um, costing his team because the, they're the, training two one. They have lost the plot, haven't they? They have completely lost the plot, Barcelona. It doesn't do much game. for discipline when your manager's kicking things on the sidelines, does it? No. Um, and I can understand why he's he's getting frustrated, but you meet, you kind of maybe need to have that inner turmoil and be outwardly calm. But he's uh, he's done the walk of shame now. Red card for the manager. Interesting, isn't it? You sort of compare the two managers. So Xavi, not known to be a, a firebrand, but he's lost the plot tonight. Yeah. Well, and then it's quite fun of the Champions League yeah. side. But then Simeone known to be a firebrand, yeah. team 2-0 down. He was angry, but he channeled his anger and he obviously laid it laid it down to his bit, team bit at half-time. A bit more experience in that kind of... And made, yeah. made three changes and gave them a kick up the backside. They've come out and they've, they've got back in the tie. Um, le kick up le derrière. Mm. Um, I could do it all in French tonight if you want. Bonjour to le monde. Anyway, we have got level pegging in both matches at the moment. Three all between Dortmund and Atleti. If we go to extra time, let's go to extra time properly. Let's go with both. Let's yeah. take it right. Let's get penalties on both screens. Oh, be wow. fantastic. Imagine that. Yeah. But anyway, um, tell us how you're betting out there because there's, there's bets to be had. I'm going to ask Simon now for his very best bet. It could be in either game. It could be across both games. Mm. Simon, what's your best bet right now? We have got, uh, well, as I say, level pegging in, uh, on aggregate across the both. Um, it's grayed out between Barcelona and PSG, oh, but only happened? because, I think, because of that red card. Penalty, goal. shout for a penalty. There is a penalty shout. That was inside. Given it. He's given it. Oh, my word. PSG are taking control in Spain. I was You were, you were just about to ask me for my best bet in the two and games. it was going to be a penalty, wasn't no, it, for PSG? it was bookings. <laughs> it's bookings in this Barcelona versus PSG game because Xavi set as a rotten example for his team there in what he did. Mm. And look, we see it moments later, another player loses the head. They, it's a challenge you can't win. It's a penalty. And he's going nowhere either. He's only it, going to the buying line. He it's can, a stupid challenge. It's that, I mean, he gets the ball first, then he takes the player. But it's, nah, yeah, it's a penalty. I don't think he gets the ball. I think he gets it for... Does he need to get it? Oh, I don't know. Outside of the foot, maybe. Um, but anyway, regardless of what he got first, it's a penalty for PSG. My mate will be taking it. Oh, it's not going to be... It's probably... Yeah. The Frenchman, a Frenchman will be taking it. Special K from the spot. Yep. Simon's bestie will be trying to put PSG 3-1 up tonight. It will be 5-4 on aggregate. If he scores this, I can't see Barcelona coming back. No. No, I mean... No, not with 10 men, no. Balls are fancy things, aren't they? Nice, colourful uh, little bits on them. And it's uh, Kylian Mbappe from the spot with his left foot. This is a real big moment in this match. If he puts this away... I think PSG are home and hosed. If he misses it, then maybe Barcelona starts to think, well, maybe we're okay. Maybe we've still got a chance tonight. So this is a massive moment, this penalty. And to Stegen in the goal is uh, being told by the referee to stop dancing around, just stand on your line. I think in those that kind of tone, just get just get on with it. Stand there. Stop messing about. Um, but uh, Stegen is not particularly listening to it. He's just trying to delay it here to give Mbappe a little bit more time to think about things. And it's going to be with his right foot, I think. PSG, and I think he's going to score it, Sight. 
He's going to put this away. Kylian Mbappe. So if you've had him on your betting slip tonight to score any time, you're about to punch the air. If you're on PSG tonight, you're about to punch the air because they are going to go 3-1 up in Barcelona. Mbappe into the top left-hand corner. PSG 3-1. They have got... Oh. I'd say seven toes in the semis. And seven toes. And now Atleti. 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 The, so the, all of a sudden, the two away sides are taking advantage of their situations. Atleti score. We've got a Frenchman scoring. It's all happening tonight. Bang, bang. And a spot bet lands. Holy moly, everybody. Holy moly. There Somebody is a lot it. of stuff going on. I'm Who's, loving it. Who scored that for um, Atleti? Uh, I don't know. Let's have a look. I'll find out for us. Um, Atleti's goal. Correa. He's made up uh, for his yeah. mistake of a few minutes ago. He's yeah. buried that. And, uh, well, Simeone's showing that he knows more than you. <laughs> I mean, do, does he? Those substitutions. I mean, talk about a bad, a bad take from me. Hot take from Sai. Simeone substitutions are rubbish. Well, they've gone from 2 0 down to 2 all, so maybe they weren't so bad. But this is why Simon Barlow is not in charge of Atleti yeah. Madrid. Mm. About the, to be honest, at the time, I agreed with you. Um, Clubhouse TV with sportsbet.io, free bets landing, goals galore, and Jen's about to go, 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 go in the Clubhouse TV chat. Once she's done that, get your sportsbet.io username in. We'll pull out two more lucky winners. We'll have another one before we finish today. Have a think about what we could do next, Si. As uh, we uh, prepare to uh, welcome a whole host of entries. Another yellow for 10 card. USD. Oh, the booking points are coming in. Yeah. If you're on the rapid bets, there's quite a few rapid bets that have been flashing up at the top of my uh, yeah. screen. Yeah. Oh, rapid here. betting is glorious. Yeah. It's the future, everybody. And a lot of them have been about is there going to be a yellow card between this minute and this minute? Well, just keep, if there any any of those come up, back them because. Press yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, Adiemi is off um, for uh, Dortmund as they ring the changes. So they're now trying to chase it. Yeah. Uh, the, the fans who were standing and clapping at half-time, 2-0 up, thinking, yay, everything's fine with the world. Um, they've conceded two goals since, and now everything's not fine. They now need to score to stay in the Champions League. Dortmund chasing it, as are Barcelona. But Barcelona are down to 10. Chance for Barcelona. And it's hooked over the top of the crossbar by the defender. Blimey. Um, I'll I, I tell you what. Um, just play goals, play bookings, because... I don't know about the outrights because anything could happen. Goals yeah. and bookings are, I think, fairly safe. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like the the teams play better when they're behind, when they're, when they're forced to come out and, and, and go for it. Like PSG, uh, when they were 2-1 up in the first game, then they didn't play very well. And Barcelona, when they were 2-1 down, played well. And here, Barcelona have gone 1-0 up and played rubbish after that. And PSG have played really well. But now, Barcelona at 3-1 down, they've got to start really... Coming forward, maybe they'll play better and PSG will play worse. So it's just like back the team that are behind. Is that if that yeah. makes crazy sense? Yeah. Glorious night, glorious night on Clubhouse TV with Sportsbet.io. Thanks ever so much for tuning in. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you're having some success out there with your own betting slips as well. You don't have to follow us; you can go your own way. But if you go your own way, share your best bets and tell us what you're doing because we can cheer you on as we go through tonight as well. Jen's gone. Go, go, go in the Clubhouse Telegram chat. Get your Sportsbet.io usernames in now, and uh, you will be. Well, you've got to be in it to win it. If your username's not there, I can't pull you out the hat, can I? So get your username onto that uh, Telegram chat and uh, two of you will win 10 USDT. Barcelona 1, PSG 3, the French side are uh, seven toes into the seven semi-finals. Toes, really? I'd seven say seven toes. toes. Okay. Uh, seven toes into the semi-final yeah. with an eighth one just kind of like twitching on its way. It's twitching on its way. Okay. Dortmund 2, Atleti 2. The, the Spanish side, I've, I reckon they've probably maybe got six toes. Mm. five maybe five or six um, into the semi-finals but Dortmund and Barcelona um, uh, may have a say in that just yet yeah how do you fancy a red card for the next spot bet a red card in either game a red card in either to game to finish the night off yeah as it's gone on throughout red cards have been plentiful or cards have been plentiful there's plenty of people on yellow cards who could get a second that's what I'm th yeah, I'm or it could that. be just one big time challenge that could uh, mm. be a a straight reds, but yeah, I, I, I we've got 24 minutes, 21 minutes in these two matches. So our red card would land the final spot, but I like that. I think uh, I think there's every chance that that could happen. If you're betting, just you know, booking points, particularly in the Barca PSG game, 
Oh, the way forward, I think. Should we, if it doesn't land in the 90 and we do get extra time, should we just carry it on? We'll roll it through. Yeah. Yeah, we'll roll it through. And if it does land in the 90 and we get extra time, we maybe go again. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll add. We'll go go rogue, Si. All right. We'll go rogue. We'll we'll add another spot bet into extra time. Um, Jenna, stop, stop, stopped. I need to do some counting, Si. Um, two, four, six, seven, ten, twelve, fourteen. <laughs> right. So I have got the numbers. Thank you, Jen. And here we go. The first winner of this spot bet is do. <laughs> It's not Dushan Shilly, is it? It's Mitchar. <laughs> Mitchar. Mitchar, congratulations to you. A new winner tonight, Mitchar. Hello. You have got 10 USDT winging its way to you. And the second winner is... It's Viv again. Viv, you're a winner again. 10 USDT on its way to you. Yeah. Some days it works for you. Some days you might get a couple of wins in the night and you're thinking, yay, 20 USDT. Others of you are thinking, oh, it's the same people. I don't like this. We're not going to get some of the spot bet tonight. It's um, random. It's, it's ra- random. T- totally random. There will be other nights where it's your night. So stay tuned to Clubhouse TV and uh, you will get your opportunities. If you keep entering, you will start to win at certain stages. Anyway, so we're going to go again. We need a red card in either of these games, and that would land the uh, the final spot bet of the night. Mitch yeah. and Viv, congratulations. So three players are on yellow cards at the moment in the Borussia Dortmund versus Atletico Madrid game, and unless some of these guys have been taken off, actually that's possible. One, two, three, four, five, six players on yellow cards. Yeah, six players on yellow cards in the uh, Barcelona PSG game. And as you say, there's always a chance that Somebody does something crazy and just gets a red card, straight red card anyway. Crazy. Mm. Um, I won't sing. Um, I well, just did. Um, Athletic coming forward there, but their uh, defence at the right-hand side of the Dortmund defence stays strong. I mean, another goal now for Athletic kills this. So Dortmund have got kind of had that in mind, haven't they? They, got, they can't go completely crazy just yet. No. Because um, if they get picked off by Athletic on the break, then that 5-3 on aggregate with the... With kind of 15 minutes left would be a really tough job. Thought- Sabitz, he gets a cross oh, in. Oh, he's, he's in, scored. He's, he's in. Scored. What a goal. Oh, my word. This is tonight, what a goal. Tonight, Champions League nights are gone absolutely bonkers. And now the Dortmund crowd are seeing again. They're back on level terms. Overall on aggregate, it's 3-2 on the night. 4-all overall in this tie. <laughs> Simeone's now saying, calm down, everybody. Calm down. It's all right, Atleti. You're still in this. Um, but Borussia Dortmund are rather happy. It's a great goal. Good break down the left-hand side. Really good cross. But he still need to do a lot with his head, aside. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he gets across the defender. Fantastic header from Full Krug. Good cross from Sabitzer. The movement's good from Full Krug, and the header is absolutely brilliant. Keeper was getting nowhere near that. That's Fantastic a great finish. Goal. Fantastic glancing header into the far corner. Borussia Dortmund 3 2 up against Atleti. 1.2 on the night for Borussia Dortmund. 21 for Atleti. 6 for the draw tonight. And, uh, well, who knows? We've got, what, 19 minutes left. And it's all square on aggregate. We still have got no idea who's going to be in the semi-finals of the Champions League just yet anyway. Yeah, the to qualify price has been going a bit crazy tonight on, on both games. But the, right now... Uh, it's gone like that, hasn't it? It's well, like, I'll ask you, you know, know, right now, who's the favourite oh. to qualify out of Dortmund and Atletico? 4-4 four, four on aggregate. Who's your favourite to qualify out of Dortmund I and would Atletico Madrid? Ju- I would just pick Dortmund. Yeah, they are 1.71. Yeah. Atleti are 2.06. I mean, the, I just think they're the better team, Atletico Madrid. 2.06. Dortmund's just got a home advantage, the, the crowd ringing in their ears, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And they've got the moment. I mean, having said that, I said this earlier and it didn't really count for anything because the momentum was soon shifted, but they have got the momentum with that goal, haven't they? And in the other game, uh, Barcelona versus PSG. Um, so it's a pretty obvious favourite. Favourites of PSG, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. And where's the market gone? I'd say they're quite heavily favourites, aren't they? 1.3 or something to qualify? Uh, the market's just disappeared. Is it? Well, I'm selling you. I'm going to give you that price. Yeah. Um, Great out between Borussia Dortmund and Atleti. Is that off the goal? Or have got something else again? happened? Oh, it's a goal. It's, it's a, goal, a goal, all right. It is the momentum with the Germans. Oh, it's down into the area, edge of the area. 
On to his left foot, drives it. it. Oh, it's come off the keeper, hasn't it? He's hit the post, bounced back no off the way. back of the keeper and no into the back of the way. net. So Dortmund are getting a bit of luck as well. You need a bit of luck at the top level and Dortmund have gone null, null. That is your definition of null, null. Yeah. The German team, gone bang, bang, Very null, good. null. And <laughs> they are ahead now on the night. They are ahead on aggregate. 4-2 yeah. on the night, 5-4 on aggregate. This is a tremendous game. Mm. I've hardly got time to talk to you. I know. If you get a if you get a Nal Nal in a Luton game mm. and it's Ross Barkley who scores, what's it? Niles Barkley. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Yes. Oh. This game has been crazy though, hasn't it? This game it's has great. been fantastic. Four two now. Four two. No, and, it's just uh, it didn't come off the post. It's just the keepers pushed it into the back of his neck. So we're two all in the second half in this match, aren't like. we? We're yeah. two all in the second half, yeah. and what we've we've had uh, thirty minutes. <laughs> Do you remember I said Dortmund to win the second half, and they were, and then the next thing, oh, they're two nil down in the second half. They could now win the second half, couldn't they? It was two point seven to Dortmund to win the second half when they were two nil up. If they get the next goal, goes five two, they're I, winning the second half. Got an apologies to make to you, clubhouse creatures around the world, because goals coming so fast. I am not getting time to read all of your messages out tonight, but thank you for sending them in. Yeah. I mean, I'm in Marios BVB, Bumblebees, he says, and Viv says, looks like I'm lucky tonight. I've got another wish. Hopefully the re- this ref never officiates another game. Mm. Um, which match? Is that the PSG match? I, I imagine you're talking about. Um, we have got uh, um, Wow BVB says, Dan, amazing too. What a night. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. Dan. And two goals in a row says Mitchell. Wow, 4-2 <coughs> says Hakan. The Dortmund game is on fire. Dan says, Dan says, Janina. Dan says PSG will win this UCL. I mean, that's a great shout, isn't it? I mean, that's a big call. There's, there's some very good teams playing tomorrow night. You know, the winners of those two ties will be will be very good teams as well. But I, I am impressed with what PSG have done tonight. You know, to I'll, go to Barcelona and win like this. I'll tell you what. If the semi-finals or anything like the quarter-finals have been so far, we are mm. in for a treat, aren't we? Well, whoever gets through, because everybody's going for it. We've got goals galore, and uh, wow. This is uh, well. Tuesday night last week was was the goal night, wasn't it? Yeah. And um, it's been no different this week. Four uh, two to Dortmund. Six goals in that match. Three one to PSG. Four goals. It's a ten goals across the two games so far Chance tonight. For Barcelona, maybe. We haven't finished yet. Oh, what a save! Oh. oh. I mean, if Barcelona get one back, <laughs> all of a sudden they're straight back in the tie. Oh, I can only, I can only laugh manically because it is crazy tonight. Absolutely bonkers. Barcelona are pushing. And this is where PSG can't afford to just sit too deep. No. PSG just got to carry on playing how they've been playing. And if Barcelona over overcommit, they need to be in the position to actually punish them. At the moment, I just wonder if they're just kind of trying to defend a little bit. And that maybe just brings Barcelona back into it. So you don't want to be doing that. And Portsmouth have just gone three two up against Barnes. I know we're not paying too much attention to that, but that's probably going to be Portsmouth promoted tonight into uh, into the championship. Very rarely have the. Uh, Barcelona, PSG, Portsmouth and Barnsley being in the right, same yeah. section. But uh, they are tonight. Portsmouth uh, on the verge of promotion. So, credit to Brussy Dortmund, right? This game has been just, you know, it's like a seesaw going one way than the other. They're still going for it. Even though they're going through right now, they're looking for a fifth goal. They don't want to just hang on to 5-4 four, mm. four in aggregate. They Although want to was, go 6-4. That was their undoing a little bit at the start of the second half. They, they came out on the attack. Although Atleti came out after half time and really did sort of barrage of attacks against uh, Dortmund yeah. and they scored twice. The Dortmund have done well, haven't they, to just kind of recover from that because some teams, if a team comes out and scores twice at the start of the second half, they would go a little bit um, a bit, bit shaky but uh, Dortmund have kept their resolve, scored twice themselves and they're now leading 5-4 on aggregate. Do you feel any, uh, as a Leeds fan, do you feel any affiliation to uh, to Dortmund? Um, should I? Is Is the city of Dortmund, is it not twinned with Leeds? Is it? Yeah, I, I, don't, so. I don't. I don't know. Is it? Yeah, you know Dortmund Square in Leeds. You, you must know there's a square called Dortmund Square in the middle of Leeds. Yeah. It's because Leeds is twinned with Dortmund. Okay, I, I did not know that. I did not know that. Come on, Dortmund, <laughs> marching on together, Dortmund, etc. Yeah, it? I don't know. Dor- Dortmund is Leeds is twin city. Uh, in fact, one of Leeds is twin cities because. Uh, they also have Brno in the Czech Republic as their yeah. twin city. Can we have um, some of their players then? Um, probably not, seeing as though you're in the championship and they're probably going to be in the Champions League semi-finals. <laughs> That's bad on the par, isn't it? 
Leeds United. Everybody wants to play for Leeds United. You know that, side. Um, 4-2, though, Dortmund. The brave boys are marching on together. I love, I've sort of got an affinity to Borussia Dortmund that I never knew I had. Yeah. Um, changes here for PSG. It's the, uh, well, it'll be interesting to see what he's going to do here because 3-1 up on the night, 5-4 up on aggregate with 15 minutes to go. Is he going to bring some fresh legs up front or is he going to try and shore up at the back? So we'll find out in a second how PSG are going to tackle this last 15. This is where a manager ruins his corn, isn't it? Because you are... Um, you're on a knife edge, you're just ahead in a match, or you're just behind a match, If you're obviously, if you're Barcelona, and you make a change. If it works for you, you're a megastar, and you've got your team through to the semi-finals. If it doesn't, everybody criticises you for the next year. Yeah, and this is the situation where you could ideally do with your manager on the sideline, not yeah. in the dressing room. Uh, you know, he needs to get a message out there to his coaching staff. What was he got was he on the, on his mobile phone, or does he does he send like a a minion to go to go and run his message to so the, the sideline? Um, Lee Kang In is coming on. Um, didn't see who he was coming on for. I think it was Barcola. So Barcola coming off. So that's one of the changes. And Asensio, Marco Asensio, is coming yeah, on. He's a good player. Real Madrid player. Uh, so Fabian will... Ruiz is the man coming off. So yeah. Asensio will not get a good reaction coming in uh, against Barcelona as he used to play for Real Madrid. He won't care. He no. had, his team are leading at the moment, mm. uh, but they're coming on to try and uh, finish the job off. They're about 15 minutes left in uh, Barcelona for uh, them, Paris Saint-Germain, to get themselves through. They often say Paris Saint-Germain in full, do we? PSG. Uh, yeah. But PSG are on the verge of a semi-final berth if things stay as is. So, uh, at the moment, we are not going into extra time in either game. Both matches are 5-4 on aggregate. Yeah. Um, the home side in Germany, Dortmund, are leading 5-4. And the away side in Barcelona, PSG, are leading 5-4 as things stand. And we'll get home and tucked up in bed nice and early. Everybody's a winner. Well, it's not going to happen that way, though, is it, James? Somebody's going to, one of these teams that are going out at the moment is going to score and take a stretch time. It could be Barcelona as they get into the box. Regal Chance. three. Oh, wide. Nobody at the back post. When I say everyone's a winner, that would be everyone apart from the two teams going out. And here come the Dortmund. Can they seal it? Goalkeeper saves. Good yeah. save. Low down to his right. He's not made many saves tonight, Jana Black, but he does make an important one there. That was a big chance for Atleti. Uh, that would have uh, put the tin lid on it, but uh, um, not still yet. Atleti still thinking they can get back in that tie. And obviously they've got the full qu quota of 11 men on the park, whereas uh, mm. Barcelona haven't. Yeah, I bet the Barcelona fans are, well... Just gutted about this. It's a, it'd be a hell of an achievement. I mean, PSG a big side, but hell of an achievement for them to go to Barcelona, a goal down and come away with a win, wouldn't it? Yeah. And this is keeping Kylian Mbappe's dream alive. My mate Kay. Your mate. Yeah. Even Dembele's done all right. I mean, like he's fired over there, but he's actually done all right. He's got an assist and a goal tonight. When, when are you going to invite him into the studio? We'll get Special K on Clubhouse TV. Uh, well, I was going to. Uh, funnily enough, I was going to invite him in for Champions League semi-finals night. But oh, he's he's going to be playing play. it. Oh, that's a shame. He'd be playing it now. That's a shame. He'd have been a good guest. Wouldn't he he? would have been a good guest. He would have yeah. been a great guest. Oh, Zuta Lord, he'd have said Zuta Lord. Yeah. Great to be on CHTV. But we'll, we won't know. We'll never know what his words of wisdom would have been because he's probably going to be in action um, for uh, PSG. And maybe for the final, so we'll get him in for the final if PSG don't make it. Yeah, OK. Yeah. Any Manchester United uh, mates? They're, they're, what is, what's happened to your team? They're dreadful, aren't I've they? I've just renewed my season ticket today. Really? Yes. You're a sucker for punishment. Seven, Dortmund! No. £779 I've, I've spent today on watching Manchester United next season. Just to get frustrated. Yeah. I mean, there's better ways of getting frustrated than that, isn't there? It'd be half the price. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, the, 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 will Ten Hag still be in charge? I don't think so. Um, I, I don't think he'll finish. Ne uh, if he starts next season, then that's poor from Ineos because they've yeah. got a chance to make a you know clean break, start again. Oh, Jen's getting all trivia. Mm. She's getting a, got a trivia question here. PSG trivia: What is Lorik Canner's nationality? Oh, Lorik Canner. He was, I know, he was, can I say? Well, let the, let the creatures okay. have a go. Let the creatures have a go. Yeah. If you can answer that, there's no prizes, it's just the glory. The first person to get that right um, has our admiration. What more could you ask for? I mean, obviously, it's free bets and all that kind of stuff, but that, yeah. that's, not on the, that's not on the table for this. Just a bit of glory. Yeah. Griezmann's got, Griezmann's hair changes every time I see him. 
He looks like um, what's that? Um, Shirley Temple. I mean, that's one for the kids. What? That's even before my time. But Shirley, do you remember Shirley Temple with her little ringlets and stuff? He's, oh he's, yeah, he's okay. got, he's In, got... Um, from um, Wizard of Oz. No, that's even before Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I think. I think she went for the part of Dorothy in Wizard of Oz and didn't get it. Judy Garland got oh, it. Ah, that's right, yeah. Judy Garland, yeah. yeah. But, uh, now, I don't think Griezmann was in Wizard of Oz. No. Uh, he was. He was the lion. Was he? Yes, he put was the cow- cowardly lion. Put him up, put him up, put him up. Yeah. <laughs> put him up. <laughs> good, good impression. Yeah. I played the cowardly lion in the school play. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, I was when I was at, um, I was about eight or nine, and we um, we put on a bit of a, a school play, and I had a dressing gown at the time, and it was kind of, brown check kind of dressing gown Mm -hmm. so i I wore the dressing gown i had some hat a brown hat on and then i took the um the the, you know you get on dressing gowns you get the kind of tie bit yeah i took that out and that was my tail wow and i was like put him up put him up put him up come on that's that was me i was kind of i feel like i feel like i'm there on the front row oh i was watching i I, i'm amazed i didn't get an oscar Mm. really i'm amazed i didn't get an oscar for that yeah so anyway, Griezmann, the cowardly lion, he needs to uh, needs to show some courage and lead his team to uh, victory in this one. Who's the Tin Man? Um, who's the Tin Man? Um, tin Man doesn't have a heart, does he? No, the cowardly, the cowardly referee, lion doesn't probably. have any courage. Yeah, the, tin, yeah, the referee's the Tin Man. It was the one scarecrow. Scarecrow didn't have a brain. That's me. Yeah. Yeah. Javi, Javi <laughs> for uh, what he did. Or Arusia. Getting himself sent Those off. two are both playing the. the uh, a bit harsh on yeah. Javi, but you know. He lost it a bit there, didn't he? He did. Uh, yeah, I mean, I hate at the moment. You can forgive people stuff, but it's um, that's when... Well, this is what I was saying to you about you, you sign your star striker, you pay the big bucks for somebody to score on a, light, a night like this to make it possible to get through to the next round. You pay your manager the big bucks to be calm, cool and collected in the heat of the battle, don't you? Yeah. And he wasn't, was he? No, he... he it was just after... Um, was it just after they went 2-1 up, I think? Oh, there he is. There he is, yeah. Watching on from one in of the... A, um, literally in a dark room. Yeah. <laughs> one of the corporate boxes, you'd, ima- you'd imagine he's got his uh, either a walkie-talkie or his mobile phone linked to the guy downstairs. But, uh, yeah, it's not quite the same as being a player and looking across to see your manager, is it? Mm. They, they hardly like to be able to pick him out in one of the hospitality boxes that got no lights on. And that's true. But, uh, yeah, so San- San- Dan Sancho comes off. Yeah. And so, uh, not had a great night, to I've be honest. I haven't seen him t- tonight. No. But, no, uh, but his team are going through to the semi-final, so, uh, you know. Well, you can you can be forgiven a bad performance if your team wins, yeah. can't you? Because nobody talks about it. He's gone from a team who uh, had no chance of reaching the Champions League fi- Champions League next season to a team who could be in the last four of the Champions mm-hmm. League, so that was a good, a good move for him. <laughs> Has he gone permanently? He's, he's still no, on loan. He's still on loan, yeah. and I don't know if it'll happen permanently. But so. I guess it depends on who replaces Ten Hag if Ten Hag goes. There might be massive Jed and Sancho fans, won't they? Maybe, yeah. It's Pick up Dortmund shots. Oh, what a that's save. a great save. That is a fantastic save. I think that even got a deflection. So he had to uh, kind of submit to there with a really good left footed volley. I think it just takes a flick off the defender, and that's a really good tip over. Really good tip over. Sabitzer, I know he scored already, but he's, this is the, I mean, he's an X Man United player as well, isn't he? On, on loan, and he's had a really good game. Well, he looks like a world class talent out there. At the yeah. Tonight. It's funny, isn't it? Players who leave Man United look a lot better than they well, do when they're or, playing. Or Man players United. that look fantastic that get signed for Manchester United end up looking ordinary when they're yeah. wearing a red shirt. It's, uh, it's it's quite a talent that your team's got to make people is, ordinary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, like. Marcus Rashford, I watched Marcus Rashford in the other game. He didn't look interested at all at the weekend. No. I mean, we sh- it just, just go, please. I mean, uh, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? But. Ball over the top, Dortmund. No, the keeper's going to get that. So we're coming into the kind of that, right, we're, we're in squeaky bum time now. Oh, we're yeah. in that nervous little moments now where Dortmund have got a one goal advantage. One goal for Atleti spoils their dreams. At the moment, Dortmund are in the semi-finals, leading 4-2 tonight, 5-4 in aggregate. Time is ticking down. We've got Barcelona at the moment going out. They are 4-5 down on aggregate. There's What's a the Lewandowski's gi- down. Is he given a penalty? Has is he? this a penalty to Barcelona? Free kick goes in. He's offside. He's offside, and that doesn't matter, does it? As soon as he's offside, the ref. Uh, it's offside. Sorry, I thought he'd given a penalty. Yeah. He's actually just signalled offside. Yeah, keep it comes out and punches. It's fine. Nothing wrong with that at all. You got me all excited there. I thought it was some earth-shattering moment. But no. uh, what well, we got about five minutes plus stoppage time in Barcelona. Barcelona trading four-five on aggregate. 
So it's, uh, well, Rafina with the one goal for Barcelona tonight. Mbappe from the penalty spot. Dembele and Vettina with the other two goals for PSG. And uh, Atleti on the attack. But i tell you what. Oh, here we go. Dortmund. It's uh, two against three at the back, but he's in no hurry to no, get he's, forward. No, he's thinking to waste time. He doesn't want to attack. He wants to waste time. Yeah, it's a good play. I mean, he's in the end kicked it out for a throw in himself, but uh, they they actually had a chance to, to really counter there and score a goal, but he, uh, he just... Did, dis- I think he did the sensible yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. He just professional tried thing. to retain possession and keep his... Barcelona are going for it, though. Here they are They've on got, the edge got, of the box. They've got no choice, have they? No, but I mean, yeah, they, they look good there for a second. Yeah, if, you, if you're Barcelona... You prefer to take a defender off, put a striker on, and just go for it, wouldn't you? And, and you know, risk losing four-one tonight, trying to get back on you level could, terms. You could back Barcelona fifth goal. I mean, it's five minutes plus stoppage time. Barcelona scored a fifth goal is eight point six. There's some nervous faces in the uh, mm. Barcelona crowd. Some nails are being chewed, and some glum faces, and some people with uh, tension etched across their faces because Barcelona would have turned up tonight. Expecting to get through, I think. One goal advantage. It's going to ruin your stat, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be the first team for many years, I would have said, uh, to have uh, lost, sorry, to have won the first leg away from home and lost the tie or gone out in the tie. Chaff Janina goes for Albania. He's thanking. Good he's thanking. Shout. I imagine you got it right, Cheriff, on the on the basis that you've admitted that you've used Google to get the answer. Mm. I, if, unless Google's got it wrong, you are uh, you're right. Um, race is coming on for um, Brandt, Julian Brandt. Apparently, um, uh, Jurgen Klopp's first when Jurgen Klopp signed uh, Salah, um, Brandt was good, was his first choice, but he couldn't oh. get Brandt across the line, so he went for Mo instead. I think Mo's repa- repaid his faith, hasn't he? Yeah, I think that's uh, worked out quite quite well for all yeah. parties there. So, well, you never know what Brandt would have done. He might have mm. set Premier League records. Yeah, I oh, know. I'm saying Brandt, Brandt's have, having the best season. It's a chance for Barca. The three on two. Surely it's it's. not. Oh, it's blocked his corner. Oh, and his teammates are absolutely screaming at him for not passing. Corner on the far side, though, for Barcelona, who are, well, they're having to finish a million miles now here to try and get back on level terms because they're currently going out of the Champions it's League at the quarter block. final stage. It's a great block from, uh, I think, uh, Marquinhos blocked that shot. Fantastic. Free kick to Dortmund, which will suit them down to the ground. Ball down the, the far end of the. Uh, Place. They take a, a short one and they keep, try and keep possession down towards that corner flag. Get another throw in on that far side. So Dortmund trying to get that clock down. Four minutes of any time and they've played a minute of it. So uh, they're three minutes away. Borussia yeah. Dortmund from a place in the semi-finals. Atleti, the only thing that stands between them and that is an Atleti goal that would take us into extra time. It's uh, Barcelona with the corner from the far side. Played in and it's oh. just tipped over the top of the crossbar. Keeper couldn't do... Uh, had to be safe there, didn't he? Mm-hmm. And uh, tipped it over, Don Rummer. He's a big lad. This one's fine. This is not going to extra time here. Dortmund are doing a great job of keeping the ball down by the flag. But I think Barcelona <laughs> have still got a chance of scoring, you know. <laughs> Just as you said, that it bobbled off his knee and went behind for a goal kick. Yeah, okay. Um, so, uh, Look at those PSG, though, coming forward. Are they going to score? Is he offside? Save, off anyway. off the keeper's knees. Shot comes in. That's a good double save, actually. Oh, and he's just giving Chance. it straight to him. Oh, oh what scored. a mistake. He might be offside. He might be offside. No, because it was passed to him by, um, by a Barcelona player. He's going to be fine. Kylian Mbappe, I think, has just made it 4-1 to PSG. And uh, Barcelona are out of the Champions League. They're not going to have time to go bang, bang and get back into this one. 6-4 on aggregate for the Parisian side. And Kylian Mbappe getting absolutely mobbed. They're on the uh, pitch side. They think that is job done and you would struggle to argue with it with PSG leading 6-4 and uh, we've got one minute of normal time left. Come off that. There's only half a goal apparently according to the, uh, the technology. Um, but it was There's going to be some yellow cards here for celebrating off the pitch, aren't well, they? Well, this will be right down your alley because you, are you, are you um, so, in need of any yellow still? I don't, I don't think I am actually. <laughs> one, two... Three. Southampton win 3 0 against Preston. Four, five, six. Six yellows and a red. So that is. Eight. Eight. Okay, so I am in need of them now. Yeah. That, that, that's crazy stuff. I mean, basically, Barcelona committed so many men forward. They've only got 10 on the park that they didn't have enough numbers back there to defend. And in the end, about three PSG players who, had a chance, and it was Mbappe, your mate, that put the ball away. Who clears this straight to Mbappe? <laughs> Wasn't the cleverest? Oh, it that... kicks it kicks against his teammates' backside. Yeah, 
Oh, no. I was going to say the back of his thighs, but if you want to go mm. for the backside, it's up to you. I mean, it's just... I'm not a doctor. Comical, but not for Barcelona. So that should be done, shouldn't it? That yeah. should be done. We'll find out in a minute how much stoppage time there's going to be, but... Uh, um, I, yeah, you're gonna Barcelona are gonna do well with ten men to get, seven minutes go bang bang. So they've got about six and a half minutes left, Barcelona, to uh, get back in that one. Even if they get a goal now, you'd struggle to see them getting two goals in uh, extra time. But you never know; they'll keep pushing. Uh, but uh, Dortmund are um, just seconds away, really, um, less than a minute away from a place yeah. in the semi-finals. Dortmund have done, as you said, a very good job in these uh, final few minutes, have the ball down the Atleti end and Atleti struggling to get to, down the other end. Here's a, maybe a chance, maybe one last chance to get forward here for Atleti Madrid, but in the end of Dortmund foot gets in. They quick it long though, Atleti. Can they keep it in play? They can. Right, this is oh, probably... look, they're being caught out here because they're all complaining to the referee. They need to get back. This is probably their last chance. Atleti ball in. Good defending. That is very good defending. And it's finished. That was the last action. It was their last chance. They didn't take it. Dortmund 4-2 on the night. Some serious celebrations going on in Germany. Um, some Hummels is going like some kind of Greek god. And in Dortmund Square in Leeds as well, no doubt. Oh, they'll be dancing through yeah. Leeds tonight. Mm. So Dortmund 4-2 tonight. They go through into the Champions League. They're the first team to book their chance uh, into the, uh, well, put themselves into the semi-finals. And the uh, Atleti players look a little bit more glum, I think it's fair to say. All the celebrations are with the German team. So that means we are now looking very much at one game. Barcelona 1, PSG 4, 6-4 on aggregate to PSG. There ain't no chance here, Si. There ain't no chance. No. And uh, PSG are now starting to pass the ball around and deny <sighs> Barcelona the, the pl chance to even play. Another thing, just to work, worth mentioning as well with Dortmund's win tonight, is how that affects Champions League places for English clubs in Europe next season. And it doesn't affect them well. Um, so Italy are going to get... Uh, there's, there's, there's two extra places in the Champions League available for the, the nations who do the best in this year's European competitions, whatever. So it's going to be Italy, and it's going to be either England or Germany. Dortmund's win is a big uh, boost for Germany's Whoa. coefficient... And if, if Arsenal were to get knocked out by Bayern Munich tonight, mm. tomorrow night rather, I think that is goodbye extra place for the for the Premier League, for the Champions so, League. So, I, so either Aston Villa or Spurs will be disappointed. They will be watching nervously. So Spurs for once will be supporting Arsenal tomorrow. They ought to be. Yeah. I'm not sure they will, but they ought to be. <laughs> um, there was a, a rasping shot there from PSG as Simon was talking, but uh, well saved by the keeper. And uh, PSD... PSG doing what Dortmund did, really. Just keeping the ball, keeping it away from the 10 men of Barcelona. Running that clock down. There's only four minutes left uh, for Barcelona. Barcelona would have to go Estelida, Estelida to get themselves into the... Uh, well, keep them, take this to extra time. There is not a prayer, I don't think, for Barcelona tonight. And it all stems back, um, if you kind of run the clock back to that uh, 29th minute where Arusha goes off. They were leading at the time by one goal to nil. Rafinha had put Barcelona ahead. And then the uh, defender went off for tripping in the 29th minute. And from there, it all went downhill. Xavi sent off in the 56th minute, the manager as well. And plenty of yellow cards around too. And gradually the goals came for PSG. And it looks like they're going to be joining Dortmund into that semi-finals. They play each other, don't they? Like, who plays who? I can't remember what the draw yes, is. Yes, the, I think these two would play each other, yes. So it would mean if the English signs get through tomorrow night, they would play each other as well? I it? believe so, yes. So, uh, but uh, yeah, so... Uh, PSG and Dortmund, one of those will be in the final then on that basis. Mm. So uh, the uh, correspondent who was talking about PSG winning it is obviously backing them to beat Dortmund uh, in the semi-final. Yeah. And then you never know. In a, obviously, the semi-finals are over two legs, but the final is just the 90 minutes plus any extra time and penalties required. So slightly uh, on a neutral venue, so slightly more of a, not a lottery, but just like a one-off cup final. Lots of Barcelona fans crying in the stands. I mean, it matters, doesn't it? I mean, you can't, as much as you tell yourself that your football team doesn't matter. I've had the worst days possible watching Leeds this season. It's no fun watching your own team, is it? It's actually dreadful. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've been through that. And, um, yeah, it's... Even when you're winning one you, little, you're still tense. Yeah, sometimes you just want the season to finish, don't you? That's why yeah. I'm, I'm at now. I've, um, I don't want it to finish just yet. I need Leeds to be in the top two positions and then finish it then. So who knows? So Barcelona are probably going to finish the season 
trophyless, aren't they? Because the out of the well, the, the Copa del Rey has already been won by Athletic Bilbao. Yeah, uh, they're they're too far behind Real Madrid, probably in La Liga. So yeah, not a good season for Barcelona. I tell you what, this has been really impressive from PSG. I know they're playing against ten, so they can there are plenty of spaces to pass it into, but. They've just run this last five minutes of extra time down. But I yeah. think Barcelona have hardly had a touch in extra time. When you'd be thinking the team two goals down would be absolutely bombing forward, bombarding the goal, they have not had a single shot, not an effort at all in extra no. time. Just a spent force. Yeah, PSG doing a very, very fine job. So it's going to be PSG and uh, Borussia Dortmund into the semi-finals. Um, join the guys tomorrow. It's not me or you, is it? It's tomorrow. It's... Uh, um, I can't, Dave Tyndall and they, another I can't remember who in with you tomorrow probably Jack um, but uh, Bayern against Arsenal Man City against Real Madrid the two uh, Champions League matches tomorrow and then myself and Simon are back with you on Thursday night AS Roma AC Milan um, Atalanta take on Liverpool with Liverpool with it all to do in the second leg of that one mm. Marseille against Benfica West Ham against Leverkusen are the four games in the quarterfinals of the Europa League we've got the Conference League as well two matches will have been played by the time we come on air um, but we'll also talk you through Fenerbahce against Olympiacos and Park against Club Brugge. That's Thursday night. Then you get Friday off. You can do whatever you like on Friday. And then you join us again on Saturday and Sunday um, for the uh, there's quite a lot of Premier League matches coming up in the next few days, actually. So uh, join us for all of those with you for every single kick of the Premier League, the Champions League and the Europa League. Rafina is getting a yellow card side. There's another one for you. Oh, yeah. I, um, he's, um, I might only need one more now, then. He's showing a bit of petulance uh, at the end. He's not happy about going oh, out of the Champions ironic League. Ironic applause as well. Yeah, he might get self sent Oh, off. hang on. I think I'm all right because Don Roma got booked as well. So that's the count. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Sorry, three. Four, five, six, seven. You're watching eight. a grown man counting Clubhouse yeah. TV. Over Yay. nine, up, eight, eight yellows and a red. Beautifully equals done. Over nine and a half. Beautiful. Beautifully done. And you've landed it in the 97th minute. Yeah, That's thank per- you. Thank you, Rafinha. It's the perfect bet, that, isn't it? It's mm. kept you interested all the way through and you yeah. land it right at the end. And there's another one for Furbin. So you've you've got, you're actually too cautious in the end. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's done and dusted. PSG are through to the semi finals. Bye bye, Barcelona. It's not quite worked out for Barcelona tonight. A combination of red cards and a little bit of petulance and probably a bit of naivety along the way. And PSG do the job. So, congratulations to PSG and to Dortmund. They're into the uh, Champions League semi finals. Thank you, Simon. Cheers, James. See you on and, Thursday. Uh, well done on your bets and stuff mm. tonight. Got some, uh, hopefully, a few of you have landed as well. Um, thank you to Jen behind the, uh, the glass there. Give them a wave, Jen. She's having a wave. She's waving yeah, she's at you. Waved. And uh, it's we like a royal wave. That's like was a queen's wave. A very it? official wave. Mm. And uh, join Clubhouse TV tomorrow. There's two more Champions League matches tomorrow. If they're anywhere near as good as tonight, you can have a right good time. So make sure you tune in. See you then. Covering every game of the English Premier League, Champions League, and Europa League live as they happen. This is Clubhouse TV.